Yeah. Most, mostly and mainly for those who are down below. So, Mimi, I know that doesn't count you. I mean, you I, I have it up. Okay. All right, so... Where we left off... Oh, no. <laughs> Mimi and Kindle were above deck making a rather dramatic distraction as Renji, Ling, and your newfound companion, at least for now, Lala Stout, made your way down below of the Low Lantern, which is kind of a floating tavern slash gambling den. Uh, and you made your way down below with the intention of robbing them blind. Um, you get down behind a secret hatch that was in the bar area, and currently, as you have arrived down below, find yourself in a very small room with a single bed and the hatch above you. What would you three like to do? Uh... See what the hell Lala's doing. Uh, Lala has has gone into kind of business mode. You've seen her be super weird, um, but she is currently at the um, door of the room and looks to the two of you like, "Are you ready to do this?" Yeah. What are we stealing? <laughs> Whatever we can. Ready? Yeah. I want to make an inside check on Lala. Make an inside check. While he's doing that, I'm going um, to... I, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, I basically want to insight whether there is a, an actual goal rather than just blind robbery. Okay. I'm just going to take off my, uh, my undershirt and turn it into a, a bag and just start shoving anything that looks to be of value. Make a into... perception check? Oh, shit, I don't have my dice out. Uh, total, total of 23. Ooh. Um, Am I getting a private message here? Yep. <laughs> 16. Oh, I right? should not have opened Twitter. <laughs> As, I mean, you can tell that. And what was your perception check? Uh, 16. 16? Okay. This looks like it's probably a room of one of the local workers. There's not a lot in it. Um, there's a cot. There's a small side stand that has probably about 25 silver in it. Okay. Um air set of clothes if you want those but it no. really doesn't seem like there's much okay so okay and where are you putting all this because like we had said that you're um, not going to bring a whole backpack into this space yeah well when... if, if all we've got is 25 silver I'm just going to put the, that in my pocket but uh, okay. the stuff that I was planning on I took off my shirt and turned it into kind of a, a oh sack. that's right you did say that so Roger you came in here to escape Therefore, he has everything. That's true. You have whatever you brought into town with you. Uh, Ling. Yeah? Anything you find, put it in my bag. Oh, okay. Uh, so far, all I found is some silver that I pocketed. Lala. Yeah. Are you whispering, by the way? Uh, yeah. Stage okay. whisper. Stage yeah. whisper. Definitely <laughs> keep it quiet down here. Sure. I figured, but I want to make sure. Um, yeah. Come clean. All right. Bitch has something I want. 
I'm getting it back. Which is? Boots. I want them back. Boots of what sort? Boots. Boots of mind your business. Shall we? I don't know. We're pretty far in your business right now. Oh my god, I can do this without you assholes if you get Then why did you ask for our help? I didn't. I asked for help with a distraction. You wanted more. If you don't, leave. Then why'd you offer the job? Because they have other shit besides just boots. You want to take it. <clears throat> Next time, come clean. And she's listening at the door. Anyone else want to listen? Yeah, I'll listen. Yes. Uh, I'm scared of my dice. Uh, uh, 16. 15. Okay. okay. You move pretty fucking well. All right, you guys take a listen. And there is a little bit of shuffling, but nothing that sounds right outside the door. I think it's probably safe to check it out, see if it's... It is, are there gaps above or below the door? Yeah, mostly because it's like, it's a... Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What do you do? No, it's Zoom. It's being... Hold oh. on. Trying to say that I got logged in on a different device because I opened my laptop. That's not. Ah. Uh... Recording was not converted. What the fuck? I love technology. I just hope this doesn't mess with my recording. <laughs> just a I might stop the recording and start a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully Welcome that back, works. Everybody. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Especially because I do want to upload these now. That was really stupid. I opened my laptop, which is not logged, and it literally says that Zoom on my laptop is logged out. Um is the door locked? Uh you check it? And the door is not locked. And uh, Ling, as for your earlier question, uh, it looks like there are like gaps, but mostly because this is a ship and it's hard. Like the wood gets warped a bit. Okay. Um, I would like to to peek under just to see if I see any shadows. Um, and and I'll make my head a little like that a smaller kind of person. Of your, to make sure. Yeah, that would have been part of the perception check, and you didn't oh okay anything. Yeah. Okay. Oh my. Really go in. That, um, that trying to open my laptop so I can pull up a, something on D&D Beyond on that caused an issue with Zoom. So silly. <laughs> really about ready to see if I can get a hold, uh, get um, like Discord to actually work for me or something. Anyway. <clears throat> Oh, okay, so Renji unsheaths his uh, uh, short sword uh, in one hand, while in the other hand he has two darts ready. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, if you think we did it, I'll just put my hand on my battle axe and unholster it. Uh, just looks the link. Would you rather that we be ready and didn't have to use it, rather than not be ready and have to use it? Yeah, good philosophy. And and puts the battle axe back and pulls out the mall. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know what? Just was safe. <laughs> Y'all are intense. And starts to push the door open a little bit. Outside, the first thing you see is the mast because um one of the things that most people don't realize masts go fully through the ship they don't stop at the top deck so you see the interior part of the mast right outside the door there is a door across the way from you in this narrow hallway uh, if you look to the left there's a door on the right on the left hand side of you there's a door 
diagonal to the left of you and there looks to be another like part of the ship that's kind of open but you can't see around the corners all the way to the left um on the right you can see the other part of the stairs and another door after a bit of like a walkway that door closest to us i'm gonna take a quick listen the one across the hall uh, which you said there was a door just to our left right there's a door right to the, like, a, like you have to go down a little bit into the left, and there's one right oh. across the hall from you, right on the other side of the mast. So there's two that are, like, right near each, right near you. Oh, okay. Um, whichever one would be the, the first one I see as we go through the door? Probably the one across the hall? I mean, yeah, that one's just tucked a little bit behind the mast, but it's easy to get to. Okay. All right, you take a listen at that, make a perception check. Nope! Oh. <clears throat> Seems quiet. I would take a listen to the one on the left. Okay. Uh, 22. 22? The one on the left seems quiet. There's also the one that's across the hall from that one. I'll go for, I'll go for the... So, I, that was the far left. I'll go far right as well. So the one across the hall from the one you just listened to, or the yeah. one all the way the, Okay. Uh, take a, uh, make another perception check. Ling, like I said, the room you just listened to seems quiet. I'm going to check the handle, see if it's unlocked. <clears throat> 21. 21? You can almost hear the sound of someone breathing in that room. And Reggie, like, silently just goes... I take my hand off of the door handle. Well, this is not the room that you were listening in on, by the way. This is the one. I know, but Reggie's there. going like this. I'm not taking any chances. Okay. <laughs> so it just goes. I just kind of gesture it at Lolo. Where the fuck do we go? This one lost. Do you want to be get caught? I said okay. <laughs> uh, go to the first one I went to. Is it unlocked? Try the handle. Seems to be. It's locked. It seems to be unlocked. <clears throat> You peek your head in, it seems to be another very small chamber. Just a single cot in there, a tiny little table. Oh, man. Um, the music is really helping with the ambience, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right? I picked my songs um, carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slowly open my door. Okay. You open the door, it's unlocked. There's someone sleeping on the cot. I slowly close. Check. Roll a stealth check. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Since they're asleep, can I have advantage, on. please, so I can have a straight roll? No, you rolled a natural one. Oh, uh, okay. That one was crooked. So... Okay, that's a. 11? To, to be fair, they have, to be fair, they have to make uh, a perception at disadvantage. Well, no, technically goes off of their passive perception. Oh, that's a never really shitty passive Which... perception. Then. Didn't have a minus five since they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, why did I have to choose chainmail? Because it's got the highest IC, Ellen. I, I thought Plate had it. I, that I could start with. Ooh. That's fair. You rolled and I have an zero decks. You yes, I rolled an 11. They seem to stir slightly. But they do not get up. Their passive perception is 10. <gasps> very, very slow. That was close. Their passive <laughs> perception. <laughs> 
I looked up the stats just to be sure. Um, I love um, how Brian just goes, how tipsy are you, Sarah? In the chat. I'm over now, bitch. Um... Maybe handle the stealthiness. All you! Stay still. Clangy. I just gotta raise my arms so they're not touching anything and just hold perfectly still. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you. Left. Empty. Um... Um, in the room that Ling was just on, Ranji's gonna go in and stealthily pill for the fucking place. Make a stealth check. Natural 18 on the die for a total of 23. Okay. Um... Again, this is another small room. There's not a lot. There actually are a couple, like, bottles on the ground of, like, some sort of liquor. You're not really sure what kind. Um, there is the change purse. There's a change of clothes. Looks like this is probably one of the employee quarters, and this is somebody who's, you know, it's not their shift. So they're taking time to sleep when they can. Um, you find about, I'd say about 30 silver from this one. Uh, two bottles of unknown liquor. Uh, change your clothes if you want to take that. I'll take I'll take the silver and the bottles of liquor. Okay. Um, and that's about all else you get from this one. Coming back out. Bye. <laughs> you, just, <laughs> you just see Ling mouth that mouth that <laughs> uh, make Holy. a perception check both of you oh god balls balls seven eight <laughs> <laughs> luck had to run out at some point you have no idea where Lala went Fuck. Big fuck. Um that moment of She's sneaky as shit. Uh, uh... Just one one of the ones one of the doors we haven't gone through yet. I go to the one that I heard the breathing and listen in. Is the breathing still happening? Make another perception check. <laughs> you're having a hard time hearing much of anything it's almost like noticing her being missing has set your adrenaline going and now you're just hearing the beat of your own heart in your ears <laughs> Empty room. make a stealth check both of you as you're in the middle of the hallway now and like I said, the end of the ship on the left-hand side of you was just open space. 18. 18? Okay. Ling? Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Renji. I was you... just standing there. You turn to go to the other room that you motioned to, to Ling. This is just generally like while you've been in the hallway. So it's also been like while you've been going up to different doors or turning around to be like, where the fuck is Lala? Um, um, and you start going over to the door that you know is empty. You start to push it open. 
and Ling, you spin to, you know, follow Renji, and there's a slight clatter as your chainmail hits the mast that you forgot was there behind you. And you both hear a fuck was that? <laughs> Coming was that from noise? that empty space of or the space that you can't see quite past the walls, but the open space over to the left. What would be the bow of the ship? I go in the room and hide under whatever the fuck make is Make another there. make another stack stealth check to see if you get in there quietly enough. Dirty 20? No, why? God damn your chainmail! Chain I swear to God damn your chainmail! Renji, you slip into the room quickly and it is dark and it is empty and you feel... This is where you need to be right now. Link, you start to push in past that door just as an individual uh, comes around that corner and looks straight uh, at you. He goes, Oh shit! And starts pulling for a weapon. Roll initiative. Uh, do I hear the oh shit? Huh? Do I hear the oh shit? Yeah, yeah. You're in the room right next to where they're coming from. All right. Rolling initiative. So, yep. My Link dice here. hate pulling. Hey. Are you both in astral right or in um uh, above VTT right now? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am going to share the map for Ow. anyone who watches this later. Um, hopefully, it doesn't mess with what you guys are watching with your maps. Actually, it hurts. Do 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 do! Yay! Okay, so I got to put these guys on here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Do. 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 And he is not there. I don't know why it gave me that many. Okay, so... I need to change my music out. This is great for sneaking around, but it is not good for combat. I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn your chainmail. Oh, I hate it so much. 25 to 28 years. 25. Since <laughs> <All right. laughs> what I get trying to min max. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That sounds about right. Um, by the way, I don't know if you guys can see what just rolled on the screen, but if you use D D Beyond to roll your dice, it should show up on the map. Oh, that's cool. Um, I, Fifteen to twenty. Wang, what did you get? Four. My dice hate Ling. They love Showery. They hate Ling. Oh no! Yeah. Like I, I don't have any dice left to not banish. <laughs> And I gotta roll one more. Actually. All right. Um, what damage do I do? Jesus. Oh, uh, Thing. 
Okay. All right, so uh, real quick, jumping away from this chaos, um, Mimi, you are above, the, on the floor above, trying to um, entertain the crowds. Is there anything in particular you're doing? Well, I'm definitely helping play music um, with Kinzal. Like, she's dancing and singing and being charismatic to the crowd, and I'm just, like, like playing with my instruments. And then, like, any time a girl like, comes around and she's dancing and enjoying herself, I'm like, yes, queen, fuck it up, kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Is there anything in particular you want to do while you're up here? Because you have no idea what chaos is ensuing down below. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, do you think it would be better for us to, like, bring the part, like, go down instead of staying up here and distracting? That's up to you. What would Mimi do? That's a good question. We um, do know that the staircase is guarded, and at this point, while the bartender is still being directed uh, being distracted by kindle it's been a while enough that somebody has taken notice of the fact that no one's standing behind the bar and one of the two bars has moved just to the edge of it okay i'll probably just stay up here and keep the party going if ken's all um because I don't know if they're going to come out back this way or if something else is going to happen. So I'm going to roll around, keep things going, and but keep an eye out for where they went in through the bar to see if like they come back out at some point. Okay. I'd also like to point out that part of your distraction, you used Keith as a potential toad that caused poisoning yeah and then he got stomped on and then he disappeared from view and you have no idea where he is can i see if i can find him go ahead perception investigation perception insight. okay oh <laughs> that's a nat 20 with a plus two you're trying your best to be like, oh my god, I'm going to be entertaining to all these people, but where the fuck is my frog? Um, and you're looking around, and after a while, you start to feel like a pat on your shoulder. And then another. And then another. And then you feel like this weight on your shoulder, but if you look, you don't see anything. And then you remember that Keith has the ability to go invisible. He just can't do it very often. Yeah. And you just hear a slight. <sighs> and you get the feeling that he's not in a frog form. He's not in a bat form. He's in Keith form, but invisible on your shoulder. Like, I hate this place. <laughs> I'm going to like very quietly just like, because I've also got this like big hat on with fringe down. Yep. So he can dip under the hat. So I kind of go, Key, are you okay? You're saying this quietly to him? Yeah. You just hear very quietly in your ear. Fucker stepped on me. Oh, no. Little Keith. No more. No more. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm going to cast um, Healing Word. Do you have to have sight on someone for Healing Word? Or Do is I? It... Check to see if it's only for creatures you can see. Ah, it is. He is invisible. Hang on, what about, what about Cure Wounds? Cure Wounds, you just have to touch. Then I will do that. Okay. 
because he's on your shoulder it's very easy to just be like oh my god and like just tap him yeah <laughs> i'll do that i'll cast cure wounds and he will regain wow he's gonna get way more than you lost 11 hit points oh yeah he's like oh yeah that's better yeah uh-huh. and what do you what do you say I don't like the sound of it. Can you just can you just try a little? Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. That was really good. I won't make you say it again for a while. Yeah. I absolutely love your teeth. <laughs> huh? I've never related to a fucking toad in my, in my fucking life. I absolutely <laughs> love your teeth. Technically. He's a fiend. <laughs> he so just am I, but what's the point? <laughs> Imagine teaching a fiend manners. That's basically what you're doing. Yeah. This is someone from the nine hells that you're trying to teach manners. Yeah. Uh, at this point, even as Murdius is looking at you like, even I can't do that. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> So I'm, just, wait I'm, uh, she just, just wait until Mimi discovers pit fiends and just goes, uh-uh. You need what? to say please. <laughs> and the giant fucking thing pit is like... Fiends? No. Yeah, pit, pit, don't. Yeah, no. no. Pit, pit fiends are a no? Oh in, the, in the most strongest sense possible, no. No. <laughs> okay, but my mind just had a terrifying thought. Mimi meets a Rakshasa. No. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> I don't know what any of these are. A uh, rakshasa yeah. is a type of devil that looks like a tiger creature, but its hands, like the thumbs are on the other side of the hand, so it's like hands are backwards. Yeah. Oh. Um, it is very good at manipulation. It is very good at disguising itself. It's very, very good at magic. Mm. And like any other fiend, if you kill it on the material plane, it doesn't die it goes back to its home plane where it has to rebuild itself oh that and... pisses a rakshasa off and they will hunt you down until the end of your t- days yeah, like they, will... they get pissy uh, and not and, and in some cases it's not even until you're dead it's literally until your bloodline is it's absolutely done yeah, no, the, only truly, are petty bitches. the only way to truly kill any fiend, honestly, is to kill them in their home plane, which means you have to go to the Nine Hells to kill a Rakshasa. Oh, I see. And so what I'm you... hearing is Mimi should, as an undead being, should create an army of fiends and, and abyssal creatures. That's what I'm hearing. No. Help is That's on the yes, way, dude. No. no. Help is on the yes. way. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Hi. You have wine? Concerns. Yes. Uh, did, no. did Dad open a bottle? It's the bottle that we opened the other night. How much is left? There's still more left. Ooh. I might some? indulge in a moment. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, <laughs> Um, okay, um, so what happened? Who fucked up? I did. More specifically, my dice did. <laughs> uh, and we will come back to the two who are about to enter combat in the basement in just a oh, moment. Great. Kindle, you are also part mm. of this distraction that's taking place upstairs. Yes. Uh, and you can you have no idea what's happening down below. Uh, nor and right. no like like you've noticed that even though you still have the bartender. One of the guards has noticed that the bartender's not behind the bar and it's just kind of positioned them on the corner so they can kind of keep an eye where that trap door is. Mm-hmm. And there's still the guard that stays on the one staircase. Is there anything else that you are doing during this discre- distraction period up here? Or um, Mamie was just helping out and then she found Keith because he got stomped on. I don't, I don't because now that guard has moved and we're like, we have everybody up in a little party. So like, at the moment we're kind of committed here, but we don't have to stay here. I just wasn't I didn't want to make that executive decision alone. 
you know, I think I know what I can do. Oh. To keep distracting. Whoa. I'm a sorcerer. Oh. Meaning. Oh. I can use magic. Yes. And make it look yeah. like a show. So, <laughs> I'm going to cast my cantrip of control flames and do, like, the whole, like, fire eater thing. <gasps> okay. Slay. Yes. Slay. Just for fun and flavor, add a performance check with advantage to this because this is something you would have utilized in your previous. Oh, absolutely. And I do believe we discussed after we left the game last time that you do have proficiency in performance yes, now. I do. Okay. I should. You have to Just come to out of the tower sure. or I can't count you. Um, and this goes for everybody. If there's something that you think that you should have proficiency in because of your backstory and it's not showing on your list, just talk to me. Can I have proficiency in being a bad bitch? I really <laughs> wish there was a skill Granted. check for that. <laughs> if there was a skill check for that, I would absolutely uh, absolutely give that to you. I feel like Mimi needs it. Thank as long you. as you um, keep your, your charisma checks in that, you should be good. I rolled a 13. 13? So okay. not bad. Not bad. And that was with advantage, correct? Yeah, my dice okay. didn't really roll very high. <laughs> it's gonna be a great night. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, it takes you a while to get into it because it's been a while since you've had to do it, but you do let off a great show and people seem to continue to enjoy it. Um, I know I gave you guys a how much you made before um, as people started tipping you. Mm -hmm. um, but as this is a continuation I'll say that you get another like five gold from the crown just in different tips I mean as often people are doing like silver and stuff so it adds up to ten gold or yeah. sorry five gold alright alright so yesterday it was like twenty twenty yeah. two it's like twenty one or something uh, yeah I was oh gonna God. say it was either twenty one or twenty six I think it was twenty one. I want to say it was twenty. It wasn't. It wasn't even. Yeah. Yeah. So now, now I with the, find out. yeah. So then with the additional five, that makes it twenty six. So it is even, but you can keep most of it because you did most of the work. With that in mind, Eep. <laughs> we're gonna switch your music back to the battle Ooh. all right so right down below renji top of the round you are up first you are tucked in the rat in the corner you are currently hidden and you just hear oh shit <laughs> um from an unknown voice as my bonus action i'm going to use ken size shop you can use a bonus action on your turn to make a ranged attack with a Kensai weapon, uh, with a Kensai weapon and deal an extra one d four damage of the weapon's type, um, until the end of the current turn. So basically, extra damage on the on the dart. Okay. As he throws one. Uh, All right. Um, and then. So you an peek around the corner and you see the one that's right in front of Ling and just throw a dart. Um, basically, he in quick succession throw a dart at that guy and then come in with a short sword. Okay, um, it's going to take a little finagling to get around Ling, but throwing the dart in itself, you don't have to worry about that yet. So first, since this, you were hidden, roll your attack with advantage. I will take that. Uh... 18 for a... Yeah. 25. Uh, yeah, that's going to hit. All right, so, 34. 3. Okay. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage uh, total from the one dot. Wow. Yeah, that would bring him down. Nope. Why didn't that work? That would bring him down to 10. And then attack with a short sword. Uh, just make an acrobatics to get around Link. 
Because sure. that is a tight door that, that they're standing in. 24. Yeah, easily done. Now you can make your swing. It's not an uh, not with advantage. It's just a straight roll this time. Sure thing. Uh, 20. That's going to hit. And... Uh, 10 total. 10 total. You throw a dart and it hits him right in the shoulder and he kind of lets out a yell and you come across and slash him down and he just crumples. He falls. He is dead. Just looks to Ling. Uh, and as you've stepped out and you're now here, you see that there was another person currently sitting at the table. It looks like they were playing cards or something. And he's standing up and grabbing for a weapon. No. Oh, oh, damn it. Never mind. It's not my turn. <laughs> kind of looks to him going. My just does say web just goes. <laughs> to the individual who's sitting at the chair who definitely notices you guys. Okay. <laughs> just, you can use a reaction just to say, wait, wait, wait. Shit, 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 shit. You also just killed his friend, so we'll see. How I, that I know. I yep. know. Uh, hmm. Real quick, um, because you guys don't actually know where this person is at all, so I need to un... I need to hide that one. Yeah. He's going to do something. Um, what are your passive perceptions, both of you? Uh, um, mine is fifteen. Eleven. <clears throat> um. Okay. I'll say. Um, Renji from the room that you heard the breathing behind um you just hear a slight like oof, sound from somebody um but that's it uh yeah now it is the thugs turns so this one renji as you stepped out to slice at the friend you're really not far from him so he's gonna walk the step or so towards you and he is going to uh attack you with his face oh lovely with multi-attack so i'm sorry what <laughs> i'm sorry <clears throat> no i'm sorry oh no no way um, I'm gonna take a picture real quick. No. So you believe me. Cause um Yeah. I shouldn't have worn my arm. Shouldn't have worn my arm. So with the first attack, that's definitely gonna hit. Yay. I'm sorry. Hey. But he didn't roll very well. <clears throat> which is good. So the first one hits you for six points of bludgeoning damage. Didn't roll well. I rolled only a two on my d6. Um, okay. So you take six points of bludgeoning damage as he comes up and smacks you across the shoulder and it hits you hard and you almost feel it like you're going to your knees are going to buckle as he hits you with the mace and mm -hmm. then swings around and comes up the other way 15 15 no all right so you manage to pull out of the way as the second swing with the mace comes through and do not take that second hit because that would have been fun Yikes. 
Thank God for the braces of defense. Yeah. Uh, you paid already. <laughs> um, because I bought it my way. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> but the only rental. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> but my AC without them is is eighteen. So, oh, god damn! I mean, that's my AC. <laughs> Monks, man. <laughs> I know. I love monks. Um, Look, I'll say this. I'll say this a thousand times, and I'll say it again. Monks in five D are broken. <laughs> yep. Agreed. Yep. Not as bad as paladins. <clears throat> I am an anti-paladin stand sometimes. Good thing I don't know how to play a paladin. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. Yeah. I. There are some. We don't need to get into that right now. Uh, <laughs> but there are some moments where I'm just like, I don't like your, I don't like pal- pal- paladins. I don't like, don't pick paladins. Anyway, um, hearing all the noise, the one who is sleeping <laughs> is going to wake up and come out of his room. Oh, great. And see Ling in the hallway. Lovely. So, Love that. Does that mean after this game, I can change my class? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can talk about it if you want to. Um, I don't mind running paladins i don't but there are times where i'm just like i don't feel like your character should be able to do that at level three i think that they're broken yeah and they're easy to break oh no oh no 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 way i might just be rolling a new fucking character anyway because because it really jumped it was almost gonna stay at a 14 and then flip to a 20 I'm. I. You see where my hands are, okay? <laughs> phone is no, here. You're fine. I'm getting, getting the phone. You, you don't. We believe you. We just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe you, but I don't want to. I never roll this well. What the fuck? Dice. Okay. You dice. Hate Ling. So bad yesterday <laughs> you fucked lethe over so bad yesterday and today <laughs> i had to deal with the itchiest fucking ash on the planet because of you <laughs> <laughs> just wait just same wait until dice. you get to behind. literally the same dice that i failed that saving throw on just wait until you get to most behind proper <laughs> oh, i know it's so much worse <laughs> i know <gasps> okay. So. Not as lucky. Help. Not as lucky, but only eight points. Okay. On the first hit. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh I took six points from my last one, didn't I? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I rolled a two on the dice and then double and then plus two. Um, Ling, does it? Yes. Does a twenty-one hit you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you only take an additional three points of bludgeoning damage because I rolled only a one this time. Oh, okay. As he comes out and then clobbers you across the back. And then one clobber ah! you again. Ah! That time you're a little bit more prepared. All right. Yeah. Uh, and now it is Ling, you're up. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Smack across the face with the mel. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Crack. <laughs> okay. Um. It's my it's secret, secret, blade secret, 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 and he didn't do that okay. in armor. So his AC is actually 10 because he doesn't have a dex bonus. Okay. 
Actually, that is a point, so I don't have uh, music. Oh, shit. I, I don't hear the music? Yeah, no. No music. Uh, Can you share screen and share sound at the same time? I'm supposed to. I thought I was. There we, there we go. There we go. I'm sorry, guys. I thought okay. I pre I thought oh. I clicked that button, but apparently it missed it. Yeah, I just heard okay. that you said a while ago that you're like, all right, let's change the music, and there was no sound, and I'm like, oh, then well, maybe it'll kick off, and then it uh, didn't. I was like, oh. I literally had like tavern music playing, and then uh, I switched I'm, from the combat to the tavern music when I moved upstairs. I'm I'm, I'm gonna smite him. <laughs> okay. And this is only showing the window of the map, right? Because I made that mistake too. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Cool. I've accidentally shared my whole desktop, and I was like, "Well, everyone knows I'm a huge nerd." <laughs> <laughs> all, all of my little corner and little thumbnails, of all of my games. <laughs> okay. Um. So, uh, hmm. we're playing D and D. Twelve. Yes, but yeah. Minecraft. And Immortal Phoenix Rising. And Baldur's Gate. Four. Uh, 22 points of damage. Shit. Okay. Good Christ. Yeah, hey, man. Hallelujah. Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, hang on. Can I do oh, anything else? Mighty Smiter. <laughs> I... Oh, actually... Oh, okay. No, that's something else. Um, yeah, no, that's it. <clears throat> okay. End of your turn. We are at the top of the round. Renji, the one guy who is still sitting at the game, has stood up, and uh, he's the one who walloped you, I think. Yes, because the other one fell yeah. already. Yeah, um, I know. He walloped me. And he's um, coming in your direction. Um, and he looks like he's going to start fumbling at his, he like he has the mace out and he's still ready to hit you, but he's also like fumbling at something on his belt. But you are up. Um. Yeah. Um. For my action, hit with the um, wakazashi. Uh, nineteen. That's gonna hit. Uh, nine points of slashing damage, and then I think Fury... you do the math, and I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get these guys on? I'll get there. I'll figure that part out eventually one day. And then uh, uh flurry of, of blows. Okay. First one is eighteen. Yeah, it's going to hit. Uh, second one is dirty 20. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to hit. Um, If you don't, if you have a question, there's that shield on the map next to their um, icons that says 11. That's the AC. Okay. Um, to, it actually is nice to kind of see that. But metagaming wise, but, you wouldn't actually know that. Is... Yeah, I, I like that. That's why I didn't want to say anything and like because I didn't want to metagame. Oh. Yeah, no, you're good. In this case, you guys can physically see it. It's just like if I was like, that doesn't quite hit, and you're like, okay, so their AC is high. It's, it's like same. that's yeah. where it gets iffy. So, for the, uh, for the blows. Is if you mm -hmm. like knew you were fighting a specific beast and then looked up all of their stats, and then you're like, oh, this is not going to hit. It's different than it's literally listed on the map. Um,. 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. For both? Um, total. Still standing. Motherfuck. He hadn't taken a hit before. I know. Okay. That could be um... interesting. Um... You were able to hit him with flurry of blows. 
Yeah, I hit him with both the sword and the field, uh, flurry of blows, so that's my turn. Do you have the ability to stunning strike? Uh, I don't know. I think it may be at this level, but I'm not sure. I'm No, I don't those... I don't okay. have that that at uh, this level. Uh, I'm <laughs> um, also I... stunning stunning strike is more um with the open palm on the Ken side. Wait. Flurry flurry of blows are always unarmed. Yeah. No, Which but means those are open palm. Yeah, but stunning strike is open palm. Wait, I wait, can Stunning get... Strike. So if you have Flurry of Blows, Flurry of Blows is done with unarmed strikes. As long as you hit with an unarmed strike, you have the potential to use stunning uh um uh, stunning strike if you use a key point. But they're they're at level five. Stunning strike's a level five thing. That... I thought it was lower. I thought it was no. lower. I thought it was three. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's fifth level. Never mind. Okay. Uh, but all monks do get it. Mm. Um. But yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Um. Make a perception check again, both of you. Okie dokie. Uh, scared of my dice. God damn it! I don't see um. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Doing a thing. Got. Um, 19. 19. Okay. Uh, you would very easily notice this. You hear this like creaking of a door as um, an arrow would whiz actually past both Ling and Renji's head um, towards hmm? the one that's still near you, Renji. Why do you hate my other characters? Did you roll another one? Yeah. Dude, really? <laughs> Dude. You gonna die. You gonna die today. I don't... Wait, is... Wait, it, this arrow is whizzing past mine and Link's It's head, whizzing yeah. past you. It's hitting oh, the bumper fuck. in front of you. It's not hitting you. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. At level three, Renji, do you have the uh, the catch missile? Um, no, this is not going to yes. hit Renji. This is going to hit the no. thug. Uh, no, I was just I was just curious. Uh, yes, I do have the flip missile. Uh, yeah. So that is a minimum of yeah. They're going down. Because it's a minimum of 1d6 plus 4, and then 1d6 of poison damage. No, oh, Jesus. And I rolled a 4. And it's <laughs> natural. So, yeah, it whizzes past you, and as he's fumbling for you, you see he pulls out a whistle from his pocket, oh, no. and he just takes an arrow to the throat and just... <gasps> and falls. Yeah. I turn around. Oh. Oh. And this guy is actually only unconscious, but he's done. And you see through a, the a very sliver of the door that's been opened, you see just a bow get pulled back in. Mm. I feel like I should put you in jail. <laughs> I'm putting you in jail. Like, I don't want to put you in jail because I like what you're doing. But I think you need to be retired for tonight. <laughs> this is not a timeout. This is a... Take a breather. Yeah, take a breather. you've done a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just... Yeah, I love you. But I have concerns. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. It, it, it's but... not it's not me. It's you. It's you. I'm just well, concerned. It's... I just 
I don't know what ghost possessed you, but I'm afraid. Uh, Continuing on, it is now the last standing (laughs) thug's turn. And he is going to, not quite realizing how fucked he is, take another swing at Ling. And now you guys would actually know that uh, our deer is in this room. I might have to switch to Chrome after this. Oh. Is it not working for you? I have to refresh every time you do anything for it to show up on my side. Um, my apologies. Um, uh, nineteen. Does nineteen hit you, Ling? Uh, yes. I don't think my thing is a reaction spell. Uh. No, that's a that's a bonus action. Yeah, that hits me. All right, you take another four points of bludgeoning damage. Okie dokie. And that's not going to hit you. That's a ten. No. Yeah. So this time, as he cracks down, uh, he cracks down and it hits you between those shoulder blades. And he reaches back to crack down again. And seeing him coming this time, you just kind of roll out of the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, okay. And he's standing and he starts to like peer over his shoulder and uh looks like he's about to back up a little bit and head towards those stairs. Alright, that brings us to Ling's turn. Uh yeah, no, you're not doing that, and I'm going to cast uh, do I want to do that or do I want to do this? Just go to the toilet. Okay, okay. Um, I switched I'm to going my chonker th- that oh. never ever gives me a natural twenty. So, oh, okay. I won't if kill you. Watch it get a natural anymore. twenty against Ling. <laughs> I'm never going. I I will not <laughs> kill you with this chonker. Okay, I'm going to cast Wrathful Smite as okay. a bonus action, and then I'm going to swing my maul, uh, and. Uh, that's a. What do I have? Like, I know that hits, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. Plus six is a uh, 24 to hit. Um, yeah, it's going to hit. And, and uh, I'm going to smite again. Okay. And roll the correct kind of die. Ooh, okay. Ooh, uh, uh, 18 points of damage, um, two of which are psychic. How do you want to do this? Um, I want to swing my maul down under his legs to trip him and then come up behind him and just smash right in the shoulder blades like he did to me. Okay, yeah. You swing out and he spins and falls down on his face. And as he's going to, to pull himself up, you just bring it down and you hear a crack as you severed. Like it's it, it sounds like you hit right on the spinal cord and yeah. something snapped and he just he's done. He's he's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. There can be no witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> That's real dark. I, I I look over to Lala, who I'm whom I am whom I assume I can see now. He's right? Yeah, they were in the room okay. <laughs> and there was like a thin they hadn't opened the door all the way, but with okay. that, they would. She would have opened the door. Okay, and I'm just gonna whisper. Where the metaphor, metaphorical fuck were you? Hook, like pushes over to the side and opens the door wider, where you see there is another b- unconscious body on the bed. Did something. Fucking dead. Uh... I'm just going to grumble. <laughs> Why are you so fucking loud? I told you this was stealth. Because I've never had to stealth wearing my armor before. I didn't know. Exactly. Armor at home. That's the plan. Jesus. In fact, I'm going to take off my arm, my chain mail and just fucking put it in my clothes, my, my shirt. Okay, that's so now I'm just bare chested with my. 
your armor chest your armor class just oh yeah to 10 plus your dex bonus yeah just make a note of that yeah wow we are like hi bye okay so she will eventually step out of her little hole um and be like not really much in that room yeah uh, what would you like to do uh, I think it it takes like a minute or something to take off the armor or something. So I'll be doing that <laughs> while okay. Renji does whatever he does when he gets back. Um, okay. In the meantime. After, yeah. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Say whatever you wanted to say. I didn't really have a thought. I was just kind of winging it. So um, in the meantime. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll jump back upstairs to the tavern. To whatever Kindle and Mimi are doing. Yeah, Kenzel, what are we doing? She's doing her fire tricks and um, trying to entertain as much as possible. Okay. Um, she's... You know what? I'm gonna pull a pixie hollow tinkerbell trick oh <laughs> and she's gonna like hush down the room before she starts telling a tall tale okay and using her fire to like make shapes Hell things yeah. like that she's gonna tell like a really like cool hero story you know just because I forgot to put you guys on here. You were there. And Mimi, you were originally over in this direction. We'll get you a picture. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mimi? Um, I'm uh, going to talk to Keith for a hot second. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's why he doesn't have a picture. Um, okay, you're talking to Keith. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm talking to Keith. Um, how much longer can you be invisible for? Ah, good. Like, as long as I don't do shit, I should be fine. Like, bite people shit? I should bite people, I should try to scare people, I should just kind of live in my own little bubble, no, no, no nothing. Okay, could would you like to go down to where everyone else is through the hole that everyone else went through and see where they need us? I mean, if yeah. Thing... But maybe... Sorry. Continue. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. And you feel him like disappear off of your back. Oh. I'm nervous. Okay. And you hear some scampering. Okay. As he disappears. Uh. Okay. Okay. Keith, I'm very concerned. Um. Uh, okay. Mm. Anything else? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for Keith. I'm gonna wait on him. Whatever he does. Okay, in a couple minutes, he you he, he comes back and he's like, yeah, 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 I can do that, I can do that. Why? Like he was checking something out, and then he's come back to you, be like, what did you need me to do with this? Well, okay, because I because Kindle and I are obviously like distracting everyone, but like we don't know if we need to keep distracting them, and we don't know where they're gonna come out, right? Like, are they come out? Are they gonna come out of the hole behind the bar? Are they gonna come out from a completely separate hole? I don't know. So it's just we don't have any other form of communication. But you are a wonderful little badass who can carry messages for us. I'll go ask. Thank you. I'll go ask. Thank you. Yeah, you will get. Yeah. You will get. You will get meat. <sighs> Mm -hmm. worth it <laughs> and then you hear the scampering head off again uh, Ryan would you like to change your name <laughs> uh, 
Um, who is Brian? Who is Brian? Um, I will say, um, Jinx, you took a minute to get on board because this ship is packed. So you were able to spend time out of the ship, kind of lingering around, and now you are coming in. You saw all the top floor, and you've started to head down as you can hear the voices of a performance of some kind on the floor down below of the ship. And that's where you find Kindle it's basically sitting on the edge of a table telling stories while Mimi is in another corner looking around like my closet's missing. <laughs> and you do not see any of the rest of your party. Okay, um, I would also be in um, disguise. Okay. Um, rather boring human, but like seemingly dressed in like nice purple silks. And um, uh, let's see, I would probably have embroidered a symbol that Mimi would be familiar with just so that okay. um, she can recognize me in a crown. Boobies, just kidding. <laughs> it's literally just a sigil that looks like two breasts. <laughs> it is it is boobies yep <laughs> no i meant that as a joke please don't make it boobies um well it could be a buxom maiden i don't know the only other real choice is shoes mm -hmm. that's what i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> hmm, boobs or uh, shoes. and uh you have seen um because you arrived at the ship uh, with your friends close to the time that they originally did. So you did see their disguise form for Kindle and the outfit of choice for Mimi. So okay. I would say that you're not completely lost when it comes to being in this area with these guests. Um, okay. Kindle I'm and kinda, Mimi roll perception checks. I am trying to keep a low profile, but I haven't, um, I haven't cast any spells yet. Or, I mean, aside from just being in disguise. Okay. Do you want to make a stealth check with it? Um, not against my party. Okay. Do you want to uh, make one just to see how well you're blending in? Sure. Okay. That's a 14 perception. 14. I'll say you can you you can see Jinx coming down the stairs. Okay. Uh, also, four. I don't uh, see. It. I'm yeah, too busy. busy I'm too busy to tell the busy. tall tales. Um, yeah. I rolled a seven, so. Uh, I am it's the only one who knows what's going on. Yeah, Mimi, you see them. Uh, Jinx, you're not as subtle as you think. <laughs> There's a couple yeah, of people like on the stairs who are just looking at you like, how are you already drunk? Um, yeah, I'm, definitely, I'm bumping into things and I'm, uh, I would say that like, I'm I'm actually afraid that the whispers are going to come out here. Oh, really, because there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. And I can't wear the head, the earmuffs because they, they're too So you're not obvious. wearing the earmuffs at all? No, I, I wouldn't be able to. Make a wisdom save. No. Love that. No. Uh, I don't like that. No. I don't yeah, like totally that. Uh -uh. Oh, no. <gasps> No. No. Oh, no. No. Oh no. no I'm going to create a perfect distraction. No. You <laughs> rolled a natural one? I rolled a natural one plus two. Jeez. Oh, God. All right. I'm so excited. So, there is a moment as you are coming down the stairs, and I changed my music really quick. It, by the way, um, is my room loud? Because I have my my fish tank is seemingly cacophonous to me. Uh, no, we can't hear it. Okay. But I have that problem all the time. I literally just added water to my tank to the rim because it was bothering me. Yeah. Have you ever noticed when my fish tank is low? So. So. It's a vibe. All right, go ahead. How do I? You are heading down the stairs. Yep. And upstairs was bustling, but now that a crowd has gathered down here in a in this celebration moment, it has gotten full. And those 
creeping, whispering voices seem to roar in your head. It's taking everything in you not to cover your ears. And then all of a sudden, it stops. As a person sitting on a bar stool on the edge of the bar just seems to have caught your attention. Uh, what? It looks ah. like sitting on a stool on the edge of the bar is an older gnomish gentleman just drinking his beer listening to the song has that kind of I've seen a lot sad look in his eyes and you see him sitting there and all you can think is what a wonderful story someone like this must have and love to hear it does it kind of like go like an echoey tunnel directly to him like i can hear the music and everything in the background but like it's just hyper focused it kind of foot fades out of the background Okay. And, you're, and it's like this impulse, like, I want to hear what so this this guy has a story to tell. Something in his life. I just want to hear it. I want to write it. I want to write his story down. I want to hear what he has to say. Nah, gonna, it's not funny. I've got skew. I'm going to walk right over to that guy. Does Jinx have an accent? I'm sorry. I'm. It's been a long week. <laughs> I don't think. I think he's usually just kind of like Meh. chill and mellow. I think he's yeah. like, he's more mellow than accented. Okay. The only um, accent that I can remember is very quiet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Hi, I'm Jinx. You can, I mean, you can call me Jinx. Um. So yeah, Jinx is gonna walk over, completely oblivious to anything else and just uh in that sort of like i must paint you uh uh you must have a story sorry i i i can't i couldn't focus on anyone else here um you can call me jinx what's your name um, nice to meet you, Jinx. Uh, make a persuasion check. Uh, in the meantime, Mimi, your hand is raised. Yeah. Do I notice this? Or just I mean, you would the see fact that, that Jinx is here? You saw Jinx come down the stairs and Jinx kind of like look a little bit like starting to get that like anxiety and then like look over towards the bar and then just calmly walk over to the bar and sit down next to a gentleman and start up a conversation. You wouldn't see it as anything. Um, I wasn't like going particularly to say, like, dark. I was gonna stand if that's okay. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, but natural one. So if you want me to say it, that's fine. <laughs> you rolled a natural one on the persuasion check. No, no, no. It's I rolled a twenty-one on the. Persuasion. Oh yeah, no, you can stand. Okay. Yeah, you can stand. And you said twenty-one for the persuasion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jake's uh, nice to meet you. I'm Rianne. Uh, I've had a long life. Is there a particular kind of story you want to hear? Um, sorry, I know the music's loud right now. Um, uh, it's good though. It's really good. Is it good? Yeah, it's this. At this point, I'll say is when Kindle is still performing and singing. So it's yeah, 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 yeah. Um, often. Yeah, he's just kind of like, if there's like clapping happening, he's just like pantomiming, like being all mm -hmm. around with the crowd. And as wonderful as Kindle is, um, I only ask because as a fellow, as a fellow bard, you know, I know that you're fabulous, but like- He's done this her entire life. And yeah. if she didn't, she would get hurt. <laughs> yeah. But also like, you know, you have your off days, like sometimes, like today, oh. when you roll a one or after rolling a two, <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm getting all of the good rolls and you guys aren't, and this is a problem. I, I, I retired yeah. the dice for the night that rolled three fucking natural 20s. They're so pretty, though. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to talk to this dude. Be like, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, with a 21, he starts to tell you about, you know, a little bit about his youth growing up uh, in a small village where he met a wonderful you know, young man that he very quickly was smitten with and fell in love with and uh, they were adventurers for a while and Rianne was able to come back and his love was not and he's been spending a lot of time trying to make up for that and as you're listening to this story of this individual's life you feel drawn towards that book that you carry mm -hmm. and you pull it out and just listening to the story almost absentmindedly just start writing in the book mm. writing what? some of the story that he's telling you about his life what uh do you sorry do you mind i just this is fabulous i can't, I can't stop myself oh i don't mind at all i wasn't expecting anyone to enjoy my stories Oh, this is quite some time. One story is a tragedy, and uh, what color is my ink, by the way? Uh, it's right now. It's just like regular black pen ink. Okay. All right. Just scrolling away. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. now and then, I'll look at uh, Kindle performing, and I'll I'll smile, and then like kind of like, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I need to write in the book. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. It's more like you you try to bring your attention away from what you're writing, mm -hmm. but you can't. You have this need, this impulse, this compulsion okay. to write this story down. It needs okay. to be written. Yeah, and I'm writing in um oh uh what language am I writing in? What language would Jinx write in? Um, well, he knows common, of course. Uh, but I think I'd write it in Sylvan. Okay. As far as you are aware, you are writing it in Sylvan. Okay. And I love that phrasing. this old timer tells his story. Uh -huh. and writes it and he comes to an end of his story mm -hmm. and i just and you finish writing it out it's like the sound of the room comes back in and the voices are not petering on the edge of your senses as much as you were expecting there's still a little bit of that even though you're in this super crowded room but it's no longer that silent that you the dead silent you had when you started mm -hmm. writing but you feel content with what you've done. Um, I thank the gentleman and I, I I put the book away after letting the ink dry in a appropriate amount of time. Um, and uh, I buy him a drink. Okay. Uh, there's actually no bartender at the bar. The bartender has been dragged off into the dance floor. Uh <laughs> I will make him a drink. <laughs> Um, there is another guard standing like on the edge of the bar. It looks like he still has a decent amount in his cup, though. So whenever the bartender comes back, you can request to get okay. him a drink. But for right now, it's like, this doesn't seem like much of an option for me. I Can I bribe the guard? I mean, make a persuasion check to see if he knows what to do. 15? Okay. And a gold piece? Uh I'll say that, yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, I know what I'm doing. And like grabs a random cup and there's that moment of like. Oh, um, I'll I direct it. To, I, I know will... how to pour a, pour a draft. Yeah. Tilt it. Tilt, tilt. Yeah, uh, so you're gonna, <laughs> uh, and forgive me, Renji. 
Um, so 35 you're degree the, angle underneath the spout. <laughs> hold it for three seconds and then stop. Um, you're going to take that over there um, and pour that into the glass. Then you're going to add ice and that thing over there, you're gonna put it on top, shake it a couple times. And then you're going to take that, pour that in the glass first, take a spoon, you're gonna pour that over here, take that mint, put it right on top, take that cherry, put that right on top, take that pineapple, put that right on top, and you have a cordial. Here. <laughs> the, and the old man Rian's like, thank you, I, uh, I appreciate it. I don't know if I've ever tried this particular cocktail, but we will. Perhaps we'll it'll see. remind you of the, of your sweet, long lost love. He almost has a moment of looking at you like confusion for a second and then just goes back to drinking his drink and just smiles at you. Mm -hmm. um, and I will politely bow and in my disguise still, um, go try to find Mimi. Okay. Um, while that's happening, we will duck back downstairs. What? To the three in the basement. Um, so which I'm direction? Taking you? Oh. After, yeah, you took at this point. Um, while Ling is taking off the chainmail, Renji, where are you going? Just points as a la la. Did you get what you wanted? No. And like opens the door and just motions to the fact to the unconscious person on the bed that that they obviously took care of uh, when this battle first started. And now you remember that slight sound of a like a grunt coming from that room in the middle of the battle. Not mid buckle, I mean. mid buckle. Ling is gonna whisper. We should put these other guys in the bed. I can change into one of them. Take their clothes. There's a giant blood stain on the ground. We might be a little bit past that. Would you rather them walk down and see him lying in the hallway? Duck. And starts helping drag them out of the hallway. As soon as my armor is off, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> I'm taking a moment to clean the weapons. Um, retrieving the darts. Mm -hmm. um, Ranger is also going to help put them back in their cots and beds. Yeah. Um. Right. What did these boots look like? Leather boots, shiny studs. I... None of these rooms look like they might be the boss's room that would have my fucking boots. Uh, and starts heading back actually past you, Renji, to where they were playing cards and starts looking around there. Um, uh, I'll help. Make, a make an investigation check with advantage. Once I get uh, my guy into his bed, I'm going to check his pockets, see if he has anything. I, I, have, an, I have advantage anyway. Okay. Uh, you're checking pockets, make an investigation check as well, Mike. Dirty, dirty 20. Dirty 20? Uh, in this part of the ship, it looks like there's not much. This looks like it was probably set as like the crew's hangout area. There is a table set break up with room. a deck of cards. Yeah, it's basically the break room. Um, and there were like a couple hammocks too. So it looks like some of the other crew doesn't get even get a room. <laughs> um, um, there's a table with a deck of cards sitting on there and a few um, gold and silver pieces tossed among that like they were betting on their game. A um, couple more bottles of mead and liquor floating around here. Um, I would say you also find like tucked underneath one of the tables uh, a, a healing potion. Just a standard healing potion. Taking that. All right. Uh, Ling, Ling, you've got a look on your face. <laughs> of course, the most insignificant shit, I rolled a natural 20. Natural 20? Uh, 
So they both have maces. Or two okay. of them have uh, maces. Um, the two of them were wearing their armor. Two of them did not because they were sleeping. Um, there's also a crossbow with ten bolts from each of them. Okay. Um, a small whistle from the one who is going to call for reinforcements. Okay. Uh, and I would say scattered between all three, probably about an additional 15 gold. Okay, cool. Um, what kind of armor uh, are they wearing? Is it just like plain leathers or? It just seems like plain leathers. Okay. Um, I'm going to poke my head out real quick and say, I'm going to need a minute. And I'm going to take off one of their... <clears throat> one of their armors and put it on and I'm going to shift to look like that person. I'm going to grab the okay. whistle, the money, and one of the maces. Okay. Yeah, you're easily able to do that. Um, and I walk out kind of looking like the, that dude as best I can that was chilling okay. playing cards. Yeah. Easily done. Easily done. Hmm. Ow. Um, Hopefully this is better. Um, that's really fucking convincing. Now I remember why I brought you assholes. Hopefully, you remember why you're gonna. Yes. Hey, I'm not the one paying you. What we get is gonna pay you. Remember that. Hey, you owe us minimum of a hundred gold. True. So, question. Okay. The room past the stairs, the larger room. In the back? Yeah, that's already been checked, yes? It has not been checked. That room has a closed door, and you guys checked the ones closest to you. You did not check that room. Noticeable from where I am? Yeah, you would have seen it when you first picked your head out of the door, but it was further down the hall, so you did not head that direction. All right. I'm going there. All right. Uh, you walk up towards that door. It yep. is closed. Is it locked? And Lala actually will follow you. All right, you check the lock. Mm -hmm. You check. It's not. It looks like, um, as you're looking at it, it looks like it's probably once was able to, but because the door is so old and warped that the lock no longer functions and they just haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. <laughs> um, hear anything behind it? Make a perception check. Uh, 22. 22. You don't hear anything behind it. Opens it very carefully and takes a look in. You look in. The first thing you see is right across the way in this darkened chamber is a much larger bed than you've had in the other rooms. <laughs> um, over on the, if you look into the room and to the left, there is a desk with a chair. There is a table, a large, um, like, dresser rather than table, uh, next to the bed. Um, and it's much better burnished. There is still the mast going through it because this is a three-mast ship and that's just how these ships freaking work. But uh, yeah, this seems like it's a much better, nicer chamber. I'm going to take a better perception check to see if I can find the any boots. All right. Um, are you just looking or are you searching? Uh, searching. Searching. Then it's an investigation check. Uh, and you have uh, assistance from Lala, so you have a, a, a advantage. Uh, 18. 18. As you're looking around, um, you find a few things. You find uh, a very nice looking compass. You find um, uh some nicer clothing uh, and you find what looks to be like a bundled up tucked underneath a false panel of a drawer just a tucked and folded black fabric I'll take the fabric you take the fabric out While I was looking at you, like, what the fuck? 
Um, uh, yeah, I'll just take the uh, black fabric out of the drawer and I'll unfold it. You unfold it and it it's almost like it's not catching the light like you would expect it to, but it's just like fabric in your arms. Make an arcana check. This is gonna go so well. Why? That's a natural 20. There's something about this fabric. As you're holding it and flipping it in your hand, you're like, this should be reflecting a little bit of the candlelight from the hallway. And you're not getting any of that gleam. And so you just take it and flick it out. Yes. And it ends up on the, you lay it on the ground to see what happens. Oh, that's so cool. And it's a hole. I was going to say, Mitch hole. knows what this is. Mm. Yep, so does I may have thought it was like the most awesome thing ever and didn't realize it was a thing up until recently, and I love it. Um, I'm going to look in... I'm going to look in the hole. You look <laughs> in the hole, and where originally was floor, uh, you look down, and it looks like a chamber, a big circular, circular chamber that has gold and there's a potion in there there's a bunch of gems in there and a set of boots can Ling see this from the doorway or is this Lava is also hovering over you and goes oh fucking yes Takes uh, the fabric, Ling make a perception the check because you are in the hallway and they are kind of hovering over it that's really natural 20 why you can see like as they set this down you can see it kind uh-huh. of opens up like you can see a wall where there was once carpet what would have been like a fabric laid out like a carpet and instead you see like a wall you're like that's not possible like well that's fucking useful like yes that, that, come in shiny very, very shiny. Great way of transporting too. Right. Fold this shit up and get the fuck out of here. We're just gonna take the boots out, give them to Lala, fold up, and we're done here. Make a persuasion check, because she was going to offer you guys a percentage of the whatever you found, not all of it except the boots. Before I roll, um, uh, Renju is just gonna claim you only you you were only here for the boots, and you didn't tell us that, that you were only looking for one specific item. Therefore, this is fair compensation. Make your persuasion check. I wish I could help as like a character with plus five charisma, but. The player doesn't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> Dirty 20. I just needed to stick it to the guild. Works for me. Holds that the hand to shake. Takes it, shakes it. Um, and it's about this time that you guys hear a sourceless voice go. So how you getting out? The fuck? Can I recognize this voice? Yes. Lala doesn't. It is now like, <sighs> and like pulls out a short, hey. short sword. Like, what the fuck? It's okay. It's a friend. It's okay. How, what was your plan on getting the hell out? Because obviously upstairs probably isn't going to work. Points to a porthole window. Okay, cool. Keith, we're heading out the window. Meet us out front. That works. 
And then you just hear. Oh, oh I scam. Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Keys, 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 keys. Go in the, go in the other room. Be very quiet. But there's a treat for you in the bed. <laughs> Don't tell Mimi. Oh my God. Uh, you hear scampering away. Make a perception check because it's gone a little bit down the hall. Wait, 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 wait. We can't wait, do this. Wait. We were training him so well. Wait, Keith, You're going to be like the dad who says yes Keith. after the mom says no. Mm -hmm. Keith, <laughs> wait, wait. Wait. Keith, only the ones that are dead, not the ones that are sleeping. Is there much difference? Yes, yes, yes there's a difference. One's dead, one's still alive. Do you want me to revoke this gift? No. Then just make sure they're dead. Be very quiet and don't tell Mimi. As you hear the scan the slight crawling away on the roof, um, you just hear. <laughs> uh, if that was me, you were asking for a perception check for I'm 18. Okay, the perception check was. I don't remember. I just you asked asking someone for one, <laughs> but I don't know who you were talking to. I think I originally was going to be like, "Can you hear Keith coming?" And then I oh, like, my, oh. my brain blanked out. I see. Okay. I don't remember why I did that, but again, okay. I'm living off of the <laughs> coffee that's almost gone. <laughs> Understood. All right. Well, way too much. Listen, whiskey. get the fuck out of here, then. Reggie, can you fit through that hole? Never mind, you're a stick. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is a decent size. It's a porthole window. There's a latch and um, Lala does like twist it and open it and is gone out the window. Right. There's a slight splash sound. All right, Renji, you next. Get out of here, I'll meet you on shore. I was, mm, okay, hold on. Uh-oh. I'm just checking something here. Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, no, out of the porthole, just. Okay. All right. Uh, just before I head out, I'm going to use my channel divinity to restore one of my spell slots um, and then do a quick um, detect magic. Just see if there's anything else in this room to grab before I go. Uh, yeah. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything else in this room. All right. Out the hole. Okay. You head <laughs> out the hole. Uh, there's a slight splash of water. Um, after I, a couple I, if I can, if I can, um, I would like to try and close the, the porthole on my way out, maybe like claw onto the side of the boat while I just close it. I won't be able to latch it, but... Make a acrobatics check. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm not good at those. One, okay, that is completely crooked. Ooh, still not bad. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20? I'll say, yeah. yeah. You're able to kind of cling on to... There's not much of a lip on the outside of portholes. I don't know if you've ever seen one in I person. Can, I can grow it's my like nails. A, yeah. <laughs> it's not even that because it's wood. You're not going to get... And it's treated wood. You're not going to get into oh, it. Oh, right. It's yeah. the fact that the lip <laughs> itself is only about a half an inch off of the side of the ship. It is a plank. Um, And so you're able to kind of like finagle it enough that you basically go out backwards and use the porthole itself to hold on to, to pull that out, to yeah. drop into the water. Yes. Um, and then I'll, I'll swim to shore. Um, if I see Renji, I'll follow him. If not, then I'm just going to I'll say you're to... able to see him and, and follow him. Okay. Um, both of you make stealth checks. Okie dokie. I don't have disadvantage now. And I landed on top of my other guys. Okay, I need to get a different tray because everything is landing crooked. Um, 18. Okay. Uh, 
Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit more splashing from you, Ling, than any than than Renji. Um, mm -hmm. That like catches like one person's attention, but they're like, ha, dumb drunk. Um, <laughs> if if I happen to notice that I am making more more sound than usual, I will go ahead and play it off drunk. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that's easy enough done. In the meantime, as you two sneak off the ship back upstairs kindle you are wrapping up your yes wonderful yarn of a tail that you've spun for this whole yes pattern. i have a thing okay only sila will know this one though i think she's going to say well it was an absolute pleasure to be able to sing and dance and tell you all the great stories but i'll leave you with one last story for you it's a sad tale, but sometimes the sad tales are the ones that we take in the most. I am a lighthouse, worn by the weather and the waves. I keep my lamp lit to warn the sailors on their way. <laughs> she knows that one. It's a sad story. <laughs> So she brief to brief, she tells the story of a lighthouse who had a keep, a keeper, a keeper. who loved a woman, and then the woman he died at sea. Yeah, he buried her in the sand and then committed suicide by jumping off of the lighthouse. Itself. The lighthouse. And so the light the lighthouse still warns sailors, even after all of it. Wow, it's a very sad story. Ouch. Fuck you. It's yeah, called The is... Lighthouse by Nickel Creek, if you ever want to listen to it. It's actually very pretty. I will. I will, actually. It sounds like something right up my alley. <laughs> um, yeah, so you tell this song, and there it's a perfect ending, a nice, calm song for the crowds. The bartender at this point has gone back behind the bar, um, and you're wrapping up the song. Uh, and Mimi, it's probably been about 20 minutes since Keith has vanished and then comes back. You eventually do hear him come back and he is on your shoulder and he's like, you're good. What, what do we need to do? Leave. Leave Just where? Leave. Oh, go leave. Go. Okay. 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 We will. We will. We're, we have to wrap uh. up the evening first. Bravo, bravo. Uh, Kindle, you do She's know done. at this point, you've got maybe five minutes left on your disguise self spell. Woo! It's been a long evening. She's got to turn to Mimi and say, and with that, we have to go. Mimi, Mimi's going to like stand up and push her out and like get her to leave and kind of pick up just the, the outro. Say thank you all so, so much. This was so fun, wasn't it? Oh my god, this was such a good evening. Well, you I'm all have so a awesome news this. well, you all have a fun night. Remember to tip our bartender. Hey girl, I saw you dancing over there. You got some moves. All right, everyone. You have a good night. <laughs> and she's gonna dip dip back to the bartender and yeah, there's a very blushing half orc. <laughs> <laughs> And she is gonna she's gonna go to the bartender and uh she's gonna give her uh yeah uh 15 gold and nine silver okay yeah she's like thanks appreciate it wow it was such a fun party and um you know it, it like you, you didn't do do your your duty as a bartender, but you did your duty as as a, a participant in art and the community. And that was just really, it was just really fun to see you happy. So, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's very very awkward. My friends, my friends. She's gonna go out looking for drinks, and like keep like pull apart the fringe and be like, my friends. My friends, <laughs> my friends. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Do you know how to get off of this level? 
I need a bit of fresh air. Do that to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like gives a really big hug. Oh, um, you're very friendly for a stranger. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We gotta go. Oh, yes, fresh air. Um, could you could you lead the way? I am. Um, I'm a bit. Oh, oh, you're trying to be incognito right now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Did you say that out loud. Like, I kind of feel like you would say that out loud. <laughs> no, she did say that out loud. Oh my god. Okay. Let's go get some fresh air and then takes you by the arm and like leads you out uh mm. kindle i'm assuming you've already walked away at this point and gone and oh yeah out. she's she's gone <laughs> as you as you go up the stairs onto the next floor before heading out just make one quick perception check from your real quick uh -huh. oh, okay love that nine nine I'm not okay. rolling very well tonight Okay. You head up on deck and out on, onto deck and ready to jump, leave the ship. Jinx? I rolled to see if I saw the old man. Uh, yeah, did you roll a perception check for that? Or um, do you want to? I rolled a natural 20. He's still at the bar. He's still okay. at the bar. He's just kind of spinning the, the glass in his hand. Well, absent minded. Okay. I, I just nod in his general direction and then step out. Okay. Uh, the three of you exit low lantern. Um, how about everyone make a perception check to see how quickly you find each other? Okay. Modified 20. Dirty 20. Oh, 21. Nine. 21. Natural funny. Wow. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, Phoebe's all like staring at her boobs, trying to trying to fix fix up her, her fit, and everyone else is like, hey. I mean, you guys, you oh all God, start I think my right is bigger than my left. What is happening? Oh my God. Renji and Ling are just kind of like hanging out towards the edge, watching the low lantern, uh, both soaking wet because they literally jumped off the boat. And the rest of you start jump off and start looking around, trying to find, and you find each other very quickly. Except Mimi, who's sitting there going, are you chewing in my ear? Because <laughs> Keith is sitting there, and every now and then you hear a... Keith? <laughs> oh, I'm going to get in so Keith? much trouble. What? What the fuck are you doing? I got meat. You're fucking... Where the fuck did you get meat? Hello. And you don't see any of it. You just hear it in your ear. Hey, God, are you okay, Keith? Are you at least making sure it's not getting on me? You feel a slight wipe on your shoulder. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> He's gonna grab him. Yeah, you hear? You feel like a wipe, wipe. Yes. <laughs> no, she grabs him, sticks him on top of her head. She's, I can't. Like Anyone who sees this, she's grabbed air and moved air to her head. Like <laughs> people are is there, any, is there any blood that we can see on her outfit? Uh, it, you see, like, there's a tiny little drop, and then you watch it get smeared. <laughs> gonna, um, Jinx is going to take off his, his wig um, and shake his, like, indigo and blue hair, or black hair out. And just like wave his fingers, and the blood sort of like drifts off of your clothes and dissipates into the night. <clears throat> and then, um, I love you. He's gonna take the, the purple silk shirt and he's going to flip this side and then sort of like come around here. And on the other side, it's emerald, and he's gonna take that off and put it into. Uh, his pack, and you see his normal, like, black yeah. uh, style underneath. 
I I lay I love it when you're in color, but black is so iconic. I kind of never need to see you in color ever because that's just so perfect. Oh, I appreciate it. I just you know the disguise is helpful. I'm trying to be yeah. Speaking of disguises, I only have about maybe four minutes left before mine disappears. So I think it's probably best if we leave yeah. and get out. By the way, are you yep. all okay? Renji, Ling? Uh, yes. All right. Yes and no. Go well? a, a, yes and no. You see a big smile on Renji's uh, face. Renji. What was your perception roll again? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck, you had to remind me. I, was, I just said Reggie's a big smile on face and that was uh-huh. gone. <laughs> I'm just saying. 21. Okay. Continue. We'll get there. Continue. Mm-hmm. So for now, <clears throat> um, Reggie just looks at everyone. We got paid big time. Indeed we did. We should probably get back to my dad's. We better have. I probably put on the show of a lifetime tonight. Can I, um, yes, you were magnificent, by the way. You were. It sure as hell sounded like you got the crowd riled up. Yeah, Yeah. absolutely. Like, not even just in, like, the singing and dancing. When she got, she started with, like, like a story, I'm going to make this quick, started with a storytelling section that went into singing storytelling, and it just wrapped it up with this bittersweet tune, and everyone was so engaged, and she looked hot, even though she was like herself. It was great. Oh my goodness, I am so sad I missed. It's wonderful. Well, um, I don't have a problem singing for you all if we have time in our own areas. Um, uh, before anything else happens, Jinx is going to sort of like wave his hands like, sort of like a giant gesture and all of you who are wet um, feel that water just evaporate off of you. Is Lala also with us? You did not see Lala. I uh, rolled a natural 20. Do I have a glimpse, like an idea <laughs> of where she might be? Even with a natural 20, because she left the ship before then, she would have mm. jumped off the ship and then quickly gone and ducked down different alleys. Mm. You would not see her. She okay. she bucked off quick. Okay. Um, oh, thank the gods. Or thank you, Jinx. You would see, with a natural 20, what Renji is now noticing. Oh, no. A older-looking elf who looks similar to Renji, just an older version, who Uh. seems to be standing on the opposite side of the road of the ship itself. And just kind of like wringing his hands and every now like looking up and around before he just has a moment of like a deep like damn it look. Um, and then heads off in the opposite direction of you guys, unable to find the person that he's been looking for for about an hour. Oh, oh dear. Um I will keep that to myself. But I will make a mental note and a physical note of looking at Renji and then looking in that direction and then just kind of nodding. Renji is still focused and contemplative. Mm-hmm. He's going to sort of like pluck a piece of kelp from your hair. <clears throat> and then. That- um. Taking no, the not, not not here, not here, not here. Let's get the fuck out of here. At this point, you guys, I would say <laughs> the way you, where you gathered was kind of like along the dock itself, but like, like tucked off of the main thoroughfare. So you guys still are in a kind of private area, but just be aware. So it's not like you're in the middle and everyone's walking around. You're like, yeah. what are they pulling out of their pocket? <laughs> Never show the goods at the scene of the crime. Let's get the fuck out of here, please. Renju turns to you, Ling. Giving you the fabric. Great, thanks. Shoves it in her boots. <laughs> Giving you his short sword. Uh, okay. 
hiding as best he can his uh the katana what I should be worried what, where were you all gonna meet my house which is where we were oh right you weren't uh, uh and i i tell him uh, where my dad's house is jinx sort of like hovers a, a map of the city and then sort of zooms in it's kind of like Google Maps, but like illuminated. Oh, like, cool. I will allow it because that's mm-hmm. fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, there. Um, <laughs> that house. <laughs> and uh, it's, I mean, it's not like a, a perfect thing, but it's like you can see like where like the landmarks are and in perspective, like there's the church tower and here's the gate and here's the steeple and the people and the sheeple and the. <laughs> Uh, commit, commit that to memory. Yep. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. And heads off. Wait. Mm. Are you injured? A little, but uh, uh, it's well, negligible. Yeah. All right. Uh, Won't say no. <laughs> Lay on uh, hands or cure wounds? Sorry, healing hands. I was say, do we have two paladins? I was good. Yeah, I was gonna say, what the hell? <laughs> Jinx, you want to tell me something? <laughs> oh no! You want to tell me something? I feel like I should. <laughs> <laughs> I so just <laughs> expressed the paladin problem. <laughs> I don't like paladin. Uh, okay, you get eight HP back. Oh yeah, that's me back up to Max. It's a celestial thing. I can I have healing hands. Oh yeah, we can do that. And I lay on hands myself. Oh, <laughs> that okay. gets me. I dump my entire pool, and that finally gets me back up to hell. Oh, I dump my pool. So as Renji is sort of like fades into the night, um, Jinx is gonna look at Lang and be like, "Do you need? Are you still okay? Do you want more healing?" No, no, I, I had just enough. I'm were good. You, were you injured? I'm sorry, I was distracted by this wonderful gnome. No, I... This is so fascinating. No, I'm I'm not injured. Probably at this point her disguise has worn off, so she's like... Oh, here. Keeping her um, cloak down. <laughs> Press the digitation can't do everything. <laughs> 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 um, but I will, um, I will take... Uh, that sort of like green and violet silk um, shirt and just offer it to you as like sort of like something you can wrap around your face if you want. Yeah, she'll use it as a headscarf. Okay. okay. So we uh, should go the long way back. Let's go. Yeah. Now. Okay. okay. Ah. Um, and and I kind of lead him in a, in a zigzag way, not sh- like straight home, just in case. As you guys are in the back alleys, there's a moment where the closet is very visible on Mimi's <laughs> hat, and then goes back to being a toad, or back to being a frog. Like you want to be a frog? What? He's sitting on the top of your hat. He's not hanging from the brim, so the the frog just made more sense for the moment. Yeah, no, it's okay. Actually, I'm gonna be like. Keith, Burp. what do you like better? Keith form, frog form. No, hang on. Because Keith form is awesome. Frog form, bat form, centipede form. And then hold up her fingers above the hat. Can you like... Okay, okay. The point. This is frog. This is bat. This is centipede. Blap them. There's a moment where there's nothing. And then you feel him jump off of your hat. And then he flips to a bat uh, and hangs from your hat. And then you hear him go, I don't fucking care. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, you know, how, how, like, mortal people like to wear clothes like i feel more comfortable wearing Never made sense to me yeah that's okay uh, but i like wearing shoes that make me like five feet five inches taller 
than like flat <laughs> shoes you know so I didn't know if you liked flying more than hopping more than crawling never cared cool thank you that was very enlightening okay um so um was anyone around when Keith got his hands on a dead body because like you I don't know, know what he was eating by the way Okay, you just sorry. Know he was I go back. I revert that. So, uh, does anyone know how Keith got his hands on meat? Yeah, there was a, a someone had had dinner down there. There was a, a big old plate of like roast beef or something. I don't roast? know. Roast beef. Make yeah. a deception check. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I know for a fact that Keith likes raw meat. Mm -hmm. We had a very inappropriate Eight. conversation about it. Eighteen. 18. No. Yeah, still it. It. Ling is hard to read in general. You're like, maybe maybe he was desperate. You don't know. It's weird. So, hang on. So he was, he would be more willing to eat cooked meat just there rather than like know that there was guaranteed raw meat with me. Oh. Deadpan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because like <clears throat> it wouldn't like it wouldn't be mad if he got like if he got me. It's just like I promised him that he was going to have me when he came back to me, and like I don't want to like give him more if he hey, like stole hey, hey, it. You promised. 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 This is what Mimi hears. Like you just hear click, 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 click of a bat. I can probably infer the grand up the grand upsetness of Keith the bat. Okay. 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 I don't know. I didn't see him take it. I, that's the only meat I saw down there. Wait, no, no, you didn't see him take anything. He was invisible. He's been well, invisible yeah. for like a half an hour. I'm I don't know. Uh, well, I didn't see the, the freaking roast beef get taken then. I just, that's the only meat I happened to see. I made the inference. That's so Maybe weird. he found someone's fridge. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's actually gonna start laughing and just <laughs> not stop until we get back to your place okay give me one second how's Renji doing how is Renji doing actually yeah. what <laughs> is like, he like doing a short sword <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to do stupid. Uh, oh, great. We left you alone. Um, <laughs> well, you didn't leave me alone. I gave you, you left. choice. <laughs> <laughs> Renji. You headed off on your own. Hiding the blade as best as you can. Hood is up. Hood up. Okay. Are you making a stealth check or are you just Um, I am making a stealth check, yes. Okay. Now is really not the time to fuck me. Oh, thank God for that 23. 23. Okay. You throw the hood up and weave through the crowds, trying to spot that familiar face, familiar form as it's heading through the crowd. And you do see it, uh, an older male elf, small satchel thrown over his shoulder, not standing as tall as you're used to, a bit more slumped at the moment, heading away from you through the city streets of Baldur's Gate. I want to yank him into an alley. 
Is it you're just grabbing him? Grabbing him and yanking him in, into an alley. Stealthily, as stealthily as I can. Sure. Um... <laughs> Most people, when they are randomly grabbed in a backwater part of town like Eastway, put on a little bit of a shout. Are you gonna try to stop that? <laughs> oh yeah, like hand over, like one hand on everything, hand over mouth, and just push. Okay. As you're heading through the streets, you grab him, and as he starts to shout out, you're able to cover his mouth and get him into the alley quietly. And there's that moment of shock of, I've just been grabbed. And he starts to like reach for his waist where he keeps his own wakazashi and sees it's you. And there's a moment of, and then a moment of relief that you were not expecting necessarily. And he just, he's standing there like waiting. Renji is deadpan. You are to listen and to not say a word. Blink once if you understand. He does. <laughs> Don't bother looking for me. I have some rights that I need to, I have some wrongs that I need to right. But you need to know something. Your golden boy was not as golden as you thought. And I'm sorry that I'm the only one that you have left. Make an insight check. Actually, that's kind of... Uh, oh, no, wait, I have advantage. Fuck it out, that's better. Uh, dirty 20. The expressions on his face are not quite matching up to what you expect. The more you mention this, the more confused he looks. Not like indignant confused, but genuinely, what are you talking about confused? But you asked him not to speak, so he isn't. I just asked that. He still deserves a proper burial, at least. Still same confused expression? Yeah. Is stop a loss for him. He he's dead. Why would you think he's dead? I I killed him. That's not possible. I That's why I ran cuz 
that accursed blade that you kept in the shrine over his mind. missing. We don't know where it is. It overtook his mind, and I had to s- sever him from it as best I could. Make a wisdom save. Natural 20, motherfucker! So you don't have any sort of reaction when you just hear in the back of your mind. Perception is tricky, isn't it? Mother bitch fucking cock knuckle son of a tit wanking whore! It was all wow. I wow, that was okay. That was very well put. Not sure if I'd rather hear that or Jesus fucking Christ. I don't. (laughs) That both both made me like equally uncomfortable. But but that was just eloquently came out of your mouth as if you had rehearsed it before. (laughs) Because he has. (laughs) No. (laughs) <laughs> that was literally right off the cuff. <laughs> oh my word. Um Is he where where is he? What what looking for you. He's helping us look for you. Not sure where. He was heading north. Why would you? Why wouldn't we? He was your golden boy. And yet, whatever I did matched up to not to what a loss did. I tried so hard for you. But it never matched up. I never even got a... I know you're trying, and I see that. Nothing. That doesn't mean you just leave without a word in the middle of the night. I had to leave for what I... thought I'd done. This is all the more reason why <laughs> takes out the sword sheathed. There's a moment where your father leans back, and that look of confusion switches. And you see that stern look you've gotten used to. But this is a little bit more angry. The kind of anger that a parent has when they find their child with a fork near an outlet. Not wrong. No. That was completely fair. Put it down. (laughs) Put it down. (laughs) No. (laughs) No. You don't take the curse sword. (laughs) Why? I killed a lost room with it. And... I sought to find answers in Candlekeep in here to find out a way to break whatever (sighs) curse this has on on our family, on me, what it did, what it did to a lost one. On you. I meant what I said. Just 
don't bother looking for me. I have something that I need to do. Fine. That thing is a hazard. Then why did you keep it all these years? It's been on duty. This is news to me. You never told me anything. You never, never spoke to me unless it was to scold me. You've never been ready to hear. And you're the judge of that because... He just looks at you, he doesn't answer. You know, sometimes I wonder if you ever wanted me to be ready. Whether you wanted me to be kept in the dark so that you could play fantasy of a loving family. I'm done with fantasies. When I've done my task, hopefully this dark cloud over our family will settle things. I only ever did things to impress you, to make you feel that I am worthy of your love. And not just the looked at like second born. Tell Martha that I'm sorry and that I love her. And he walks away. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> Does anyone need a moment? Mm. I'm good. I'm sorry. Ooh, that was good. Yeah. That was yeah, really but... good. That I want to. I want to put super... that in a movie. Right. Right. Oh wow. It was really. It was really good. Whew. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit projecting there to someone in my family. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, you're good. That sounds a little personal. <laughs> Let's just say you, you, you see Krillin pop up in the corner as you're leaving and throw right at your dad. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay because oh, that that was a that was a yeah. bit more pent up than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> Not very well. I love those moments. Mm -hmm. D is just therapy escapism. It really is. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's important to play the asshole. Yep. But at the same time, I hate it sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you it's okay, really though. difficult. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I like I mean, stepping into these shoes because I can step back out. But also, I'm yeah. like... I can't be the one that's, to be like, no, no, it's okay. It's like, <laughs> that's how I felt with the chief of free hub. Mm -hmm. God, that asshole. That, that dude was a fucking asshole. But oh, his yeah, daughter. That dude, was a, that dude was about to get fucking sm I smacked into the I He was about to get smacked into the fucking nether realm. Mm -hmm. Thank God that his kid was there. Right? Oh my mm -hmm. God. That is the only redeeming quality of that man, which, you know, says a lot. Even his ex-wife was like, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bro, she said that with her whole chest, and I was like, yeah, I can't see. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Tell your truth. Tell your truth. Renji, was there anything else you wanted to do before you caught up with your friends? The walk there, he is fighting every molecule in his being to stop himself from crying. Oh, buddy. It's okay. 
um, hood down, and he's got his he head held up high. Also, the music was not helping in that moment. <laughs> Let me tell you, like, like a great song. <laughs> like, that, I, like I was doing this, and then in the moment, my head was like, "Music is very fitting." And I'm like, "Oh crap, I do to." Mm, mm. The music <laughs> is really fitting. <laughs> mm. um, yep. No, um, he's gonna head straight for Ling's dad's house. Okay. Um, I'll say because you're a freaking monk, you're actually even able to catch up with them before they even enter the home. And you all well, end yeah. up at your dad's house. Um, so since we're doing this exact before we actually get there. Okay. Um, I want to I want to tell the group we did not do a heist. We were just out having a good night on the town, having some gambling, and that's where all the money came from. We're not gonna show him the loot. Mm, he doesn't need to know I got back into that life. Even for don't a need to tell me twice. Cool. Mm. Okay. Of course. No. Our date went lovely, unless you disagree. That's our cover story. <laughs> so great. We went out, we had some <laughs> drinks. I had a really, a really gross drink. And, and as she like starts to like, seems like she's drunk, she's not trying to act like she's drunk. But for some reason, she seems intoxicated. Just Perfect. The brain, the brain cells going down <laughs> gradually. Oh no! No brain, just boobs. No, no brain, brain, just boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. No I'm brain, like, no eyes, no only eyes, boobs. only boobs, only boobs, only, boobs. <laughs> only chest, only ass, only ass. <laughs> I love how you guys understand, Mimi. So like so quickly, you just mm -hmm. you just got her. We get oh. it. She's just ass. I mean, yeah. Bimbification is a real thing, and yep. honestly, hats off to anyone who has the wherewithal to do it. Mm -hmm. yep. Amen. Amen. Ling, put, Ling puts their hand on the door handle and realize, oh shit, hang on, and then goes back to the their uh, dark skin, light haired form that they left in. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> about this time, Renju catches up. You good? Okay, not good. Do you want your sword back? He hands us the sword. Uh, um, grip. Yep. Um, don't tell Dad what we did. We're going to my room. Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> you open the door and it's the same peaceful living room it's a for those of you who have not been here before the home is uh, very like like i described before renaissance middle class it's <laughs> the best way to put it it's not the nicest but it certainly is like a very nice district it is a nice home um yeah, it's very basic setup. <laughs> and your father is sitting in his lounge chair with a book and a cup of tea. Just and just goes, Oh, you're you're back. Yeah, yeah we had a great night. And just maybe a little few too many drinks, but uh we're good. Good, good. Glad you had fun. It was uh, so fun. Good, good. I, I think I'm going to escort my friends up to my room. We're going to get ready for bed. I'm going to come down and, and make us a, a pot of tea. And then um, we're going to go to There's bed. There's already a pot on. There's a kettle. It's all set up. I have my nightly tea this time and every night anyway. Oh, I love you so, so much. And I, I kind of waddle over and I, I give him a hug. Oh, he hugs <laughs> you back. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Kiss him on the forehead and then uh, grab the pot and head upstairs to, to my room. Right. It's very thank much you. like it's very, very much like the kids have come home from prom and he's just like, oh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> uh, maybe I love this man. Do you guys have a solid closet? 
Uh, I mean, it, it's been a while since I've been it. Maybe? I'll say I sure. mean, my wardrobe wasn't, like, super solid, but it was, you know, decent. Just, like, not a lot of holes in it? Or cracks Oh, no, it. no. Well, the front doors might, but, you know, that can be helped with just a blanket over the doors. Blanket. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that if that's okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank you. And then I, I, I lead you into a uh, kind of small room. Um, there's just one bed, uh, uh, a wardrobe, and a dresser. Um, and then an old box of just a, an old chest at the at the foot of the bed. Cool. Kind of gesture all in. Okay. So, <laughs> Renji found a hole of a hoard, and I pull out the fabric, and may I do the sorry. honors? Can I? Oh. I want to do something, I'm sorry. Okay. Before, before they pull out the fabric. Um, so, everyone will go inside, but Kendall specifically is going to put her arm on the door frame to stop Renji from going inside for a moment. Brave move. <laughs> and she's she's going to go, I'm sorry, just give us one moment, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. Are you okay? The moment you ask that question, his demeanor breaks oh. and, is, and begins to start crying. She'll, she'll let him cry and just kind of nod, you know, let just, it happen. Like, He's kind of like hunched over with um, his head in one hand as you also notice that uh, on the other hand, he is clenching the longer sword like tight, his, as in like white knuckle tight. Mm -hmm. I didn't kill him. She made me think I did. Was I the intended target this whole time? Was I... I was a... I was a puppet to get out of the... To get it out of the guardianship of my family. I was used. Kendall is going to... Oh. Ow. I am so sorry, oh, everyone. No, 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 no. This is fucking oh, this is a perfect. Thing, yeah. This is perfect. Oh. I'm so happy right now. I She's... also just want to apologize if I'm taking up a little bit too much time. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. No, this is great. No, no, no. I'm so invested right now. Kendall is going to stuff down the lump in her throat and take her hands and just cup his face and lift it just enough. I, I, again, the the second you do that, like, second waterfall, just... Yeah. She's going to say, look it straight in the fucking eye and say... I understand more than anyone what it feels like to be a puppet. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that. Does it get better? I'd like to hope so. I don't 
don't know why, but... I... I feel... I don't feel like Renji anymore. I feel... Empty. Again, like, talking to the exact right person. <sighs> like a solitary leaf on the breeze. Oh, just... come on, man. Oh, hell no, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just a leaf on the wind. Don't worry about it. Ah, no. What did I do? You started oh. this. <laughs> I had like three different movies pop into my head. <laughs> like, no, okay, my brain I... started seeing leaves from the vine. Okay. Fuck oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Anyway, continuing. You're a survivor. You are the best version of yourself. You are the winner. You are the conqueror. You are whoever you want to pave yourself out to be. Do you understand me? We don't get many choices in our life. But this is a choice that we get to make. And whoever you want to be, whoever you ought to be, that is your choice. You get to forge that. No one else has a say in that. I don't want to survive when they're still being a puppet. How can one conquer when they are being conquered day after day? How can... How can I win when... The battle has already begun. You live. One day. One hour. One minute at a time. You live. Until. One day. You cut those strings. What if I find out I don't want to? And that is your choice to make. And in a split second, you see Ranji go steel-faced once more. Thank you, Kindle. There's no need to thank me. Oh. 
I have a lot to learn about the world. Well, that's something that we both have in common. She's gonna put out her fist bump. Puppets? For the time being. Oh. Maybe we could learn together. I'd like that. In an instant, he just hugs you like no tomorrow. God fucking damn it. <laughs> no, don't you stop. Here, as the DM, this is where I ask, do we need to take a few minutes break or close it out here tonight? I didn't have much more I'm okay. tonight. Just look at the, do we I'm need good. a few minutes? <laughs> Um, I seriously, if we want to take time, get snacks, go to the bathroom, recollect, I don't I, mind. I, 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 I could do it, I could do it with a break, yeah. Yeah, you know, what? yeah, I'll get some water. Okay, let's take a few minutes. Okay, recording in progress. <laughs> All right, so now that we got the emotions. Emotional damage. <laughs> uh, dude. Mimi, <sighs> Ling, and Jinx. You are currently in Ling's room. Um yes. and you, Ling, were given the folded black fabric. And your as your friends are currently spread out, like what did we get? What would you do? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, unfold the fabric and just kind of toss it, uh, like up on my, my wardrobe, try and spread it out as much as I can. Cause I don't know if I have enough floor space for this. Um, make sure everyone has tea, by the way. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll say that if everyone moves to the edge, then you'll have room, but you, it actually has okay. to be on a flat horizontal surface for it to activate. Okay. Okay. Then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that and kind of put it in the middle of the floor, maybe off a little bit to the side, away from the door, so we don't have, like, walk in, th in through the door. Watch! <laughs> yeah, we don't need that tonight. Um, <sighs> by the way, Mimi, um, your tea is uh, a little gift for me. What does that mean? Uh, what did you do to my dad's tea? Oh, another sampling. Uh, yeah, I give you a cup of uh, my blood. What a lovely tasting! And I cast the word to heal myself back up. All right, you hang on. Like this is in. You just did that. Yeah. Oh, Jinx, that's sweet. I, I, I can't. I am both like very appreciative and like a little bit scared, but like like very happy, but like a little nervous, oh. but like very like. Hold, uh, hold on, my dear, and um, Jinx is gonna sort of like flourish to give it a little bit extra, an extra kick and uh, warm extra it up. Extra iron. <laughs> A little, a little magnesium, a little copper, you know. A little guy, yeah, you gotta get your uh, your vitamins and your minerals. Um, my cup of blood. It's uh, it's all warming up a little bit more. Than, it's like ninety nine degrees. We'll say. Jenks, this is like a this is like a big deal for me. You know, that's like a big deal for me. Oh my god. Do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I'll buy you yeah. literally anything that you want. Yeah, well, let's find out how much we can afford, shall we? I can afford um, anything. And um, I uh, I actually ice my tea, but um, I keep the the tea for Kindle and the tea for Renji, um, piping hot until they're ready for it. 
and I put a little uh, sprig of wintergreen in yours, Ling. Awesome. I love a bit of mint tea. And I'll sit next to uh, me, kind of just like. <laughs> just feel like snuggle up. <laughs> Mimi. Mm-hmm. Having drank once more a fresh blood. but not straight from a vein. Mm -hmm. You do not have to worry about the wisdom check. Perfect. You, it is fresh and from a living body. So it's still living blood and you still, you get that rush, that adrenaline pop, that sweet nectar sensation. Um, you still, you, this will re-up those five temporary hit points. And these will re-up. So if you didn't, if you had gotten rid of those, they're back. Okay. Um, no, it looks like I, I still had, last time I got 10 temporary hit points. Was it 10? Okay, yeah. then we'll make it to 10. Then we'll 10. I thought it was five. I don't know why. But yeah, so you'll still, you'll, so this is basically like, like you re-upped that 10. So if you end up losing those 10. Um, they'll last for five days. So if you do not feed within five days, they'll drop and then you'll be. Okay. And then if okay. you get hit, then those hit points go first and you don't re-up them unless you drink from somebody again. Right. Okay, cool. And you kind of have that hopeful feeling that maybe you get like a spell out of this, but you don't, which tells yeah. you that whatever happened with Ling was unusual definitely yeah because i don't think i've like ever gotten that before ever nope oh, I'm so. So special. <laughs> you're special and so, like you're used to and jinx looks pretty much like a human but there's a little <laughs> bit of an extra like tangle to the blood that you weren't expecting it's almost like it's frosty frosty yeah Ah, Steve, the jinxy. <laughs> <laughs> I want that as a poster, and I'm gonna put it on my wall, and I'm gonna frame it, and I'm Frosty gonna the jinxy. Frosty the jinxy. Merry Christmas, Jinx all, all of night. She'll be like, she'll be like sipping on it and like treating it like wine at first, and like getting all the flavor pods. She's like, mm. it's both like warm. Uh, but like refreshingly cool at the same yeah, time. It's kinda, it's not, it, yeah, it's kind of, it's not, yeah, it's more like like a minty fresh. Like oh a my minty god. frosty. Oh my god. Jinx. Like I can't, frosty. I can't even. This flavor palette is so, this is so weird, but your flavor palette is so unique. I, like, uh, honestly, I totally forgot um, that I have like a traumatic past. So uh, if you have any side effects, please let me know. I'll try to diffuse them. Well, well, oh, that would be funny. Well, like when I, when I sampled Lang, I didn't, I didn't like, like I got that spell for a little bit and it was like a weird flavor. Yours, like the best way that I can describe it is like, it's minty. So it's a little tingly. It's still like warm blood, but it's like fresh, but I'm definitely not getting the same effects. It's like typical blood, but there's, there's like a, there's a fresh like mm-hmm. tinge in there. It's interesting. Like my celestial blood. Yeah. I, I, Ooh, uh, can you what? be drinking that? <laughs> oh, no, I mean, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's, Celestial twice. Celestial removed. undead. <laughs> We're in it's combo. Fine. It's fine. Okay. It's, pro- okay. it's, it's fine. It's fine. He um, okay. maybe not fine. Me. By the fine. way, um, maybe okay. the thing I have to tell you. Uh huh. When you meet my mother, because we're going to stop and visit my family after this, right? Yes, of course. Don't mention that you're a vampire to her. And. Um, why um i'll explain to you when we get back to candle keep but um just best not to bring it up maybe 
I'm... You're not in danger. Probably. Because okay. I don't like being dishonest about my... <laughs> um, I don't like being... I'm joking, like being, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't like being dishonest about myself, like, unless it's for a job. For, and for safety. Be, uh, no? No, ever since I disappeared, honestly, she has been, like you know just a mess and you know to have me back she'll be so she'll be distracted because i'll be there the whole time and you know like moms are all like oh my god i love you i want to smother you with love um sure and i love it i love my mom but um i can't tell you why don't mention that you're a vampire well please tell me in the morning because i would love to be informed i might forget but at least you told me the first time okay um, I'll remind you before we get to the house, but uh, again, I'm going to have to, I, there's a whole story behind it. It's going to take a long time to, to get through it all. And I just, it'd probably be better if we're in the safety of Candle Keep. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. 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 Right. Let's okay. see the soul. Ha! I have never been more excited to say that sentence. <laughs> So, Mimi's gonna uh, like take her little cup of blood and then like 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 head on head on Jinx's shoulder, just like this. I'm going to make myself small because I feel small and cozy. I'm gonna um pet the closet a little bit if they're uh the closet's currently like sitting on the bed. Um mm. and I think two feet tall when in this form because they are in their fiendish form at this point. Because oh, why not? Um just so you know. Um, I guess right now it's in Ling's possession, so Ling can add a portable hole to your inventory. Um, which is six feet in, in diameter when laid out on the floor. Okay, and yeah, ten, there, there should be room. And ten feet deep. Awesome. Uh, whoosh, lay it out after after that whole tea talk. Um, so Renji found this. Um. Apparently, this holds uh, quite quite a lot. You just kind of peer over the edge and jump in. <laughs> okay. Carefully, just, you know, with one hand on the side. Yeah, just make a deck save just to see how you land if you're a jumping. Deck in. save. Yeah. I don't like that your. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> I did. I, I did. I was like a little concerned. A one. Uh, you should be. Uh, yeah, plus one. One. So, Ling, you're like, I'm just gonna jump down. It'll be great. And you try to go. Oh god, my ankle! Of the hole. Oh no. And it just it doesn't end well. Uh, you oh, you fall on your ass. Like yeah. Also, you take an one point of damage from the fall. You're like, I'll take two. No, as far as it, it's more like it was farther than you were expecting, even though like you're like, oh, that's you know, pretty far. That looks closer than it appears. Yeah. <laughs> but now you are oh! in a, you look up and you can see like the ring from the borders of the hole. Oh, this is cool, but it's deeper than it looks. Are you injured? <gasps> yes, but what kind of loot do I see? <laughs> so you see um, a couple different potion-looking vials. You see lots of gold, silver, copper even. Um, you see like a jug-looking thing. Oh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab the jug real quick and just pop, pop the cork, see if there's anything there. Your pop. So it's a weird looking jug. Mm -hmm. um, there's a cork on the top and there's a couple different corks on the sides. Are you grabbing the top oh. one or? Oh, um, I, I think I know what this is, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop the cork on the top. You pop the cork on the top and if you look in, it looks like there's water. Huh, it's a weird looking water jug. Cork. Well, we got to lot of coins it's a jug kind of toss it up as as lightly as i can to get it just over the edge um and along with pretty much everything except for the coins 
Should we, um, obviously we'll split it all between us, but we should give our fair share to, uh, Lala, right? Oh, she got, she got her share. She got exactly what she wanted. But didn't she, we agreed to 40%, 60%, right? Yeah, and she also agreed to pay us 100 gold, which she did not give us. So we got this. Well, let's, mm. just, let's just give her 40% minus 100 gold. It, 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 it's all good. We worked it out down, downstairs when we found this. It's all good. No need to worry about it. Uh, inside check. Oh, okay. Make your insight check. Not that I don't trust uh, my job. Wait. Ling, you are still being evasive, so it is a deception check. Okay. That I mean that's fine. It's still the same thing. 26. Yeah, I rolled a six. <laughs> Ling is hard to read, but you know them to be, you know, mm-hmm. a friend and trustworthy. Oh, I you wouldn't lie to me, Ling. It's fine. What? No, of course not. Plus, it's not <laughs> technically lying, just evasive. <laughs> that is kind of what happened. Renji, you're muted. To quote Sarah, you are withholding the truth. Yep. The, the full truth. And nothing but the truth. Yeah. So help you truth. <laughs> uh, help you, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> All right. I see so, your true colors shining through. <laughs> That's okay. why I love you. So it, if while I'm still down in the hole and having thrown all of the other items up, including the potions and such, I'm going to have someone catch the potions, not throw them on the floor. Oh. Um, there's about four would, different potions. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna count what we have so that we can do the math to to divide it up. Okay, you guys get within the hole, which now you also have. By the yes. way, one thousand fifty gold pieces. Ooh, five hundred and thirty silver pieces. 700 copper pieces and 250 jet gold pieces worth of assorted gems. There also appears to be two potions that are like a reddish that look familiar. Okay. Um, A potion. Let me look because I had it and then where did it go um here it is a potion that looks like it's got like silver and brown and gray in layers. And another potion that uh, it, so it's kind of like a potion. It's more like silvery, but it seems more like thick, gaseous. Okay. In the bottle. Awesome. Uh, I can do some math to divvy up the the monies uh, between the five of us. Um, so yeah, that's just quite a haul tonight. Is, um, how do we want to how do we want to treat the whole? Do it. I mean, is it just going to be a, a party? Com- communion hole or is it going to be like one person holds on to it do we change every day how, oh, how do you want to do this hallelujah <laughs> hey, uh, oh, I love that. Uh, 
a uh, whole guardian, per, uh, one whole guardian per week. A whole guardian. Yeah. A whole guardian. A whole we, we can switch guardian. out. Who gets to use the whole every week? Um. Jinx is actually okay with whoever wants to hold on to it or keep it. Okay. Uh, but I will take some of that coin. Oh, of course. Mimi? Uh, Mimi's. Can I test something? What would you like to test? So the hole is a blanket before it's a hole, right? As far as I can tell, it's just like magical black cloth. I pick it up. See that? Uh-huh. Did you blow up? Wait, wait, candle? let me get out. Yes, I did. Okay. I climbed cool. out. Are you still I thought on fire? that the house was burning. We're no. fine. No, my candle is unlit. Okay. So you're okay. smelling Thank out. you. Wait. Oh, wait. You're still in the hole? <laughs> I was. I'm out now. I am so sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I'll t- 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 I'll take the hole, roll it up, and push up it. I mean, it looks like you had stuck, like, and it's like basically looks like like a yard of black fabric that you just shoved in your. Wow. Okay. Uh, I mean, cool. It works. And then she'll take it out of... again. <laughs> That's one way out. of carrying it. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I have a calculator. Why am I doing this by hand? Does anyone want to look at the potions or the bottle to see if you know what it is? I would like to take a look at the, a better look at the bottle, Arcana or investigation check or whatever. Uh, Arcana. Arcana. Ooh, sixteen plus three, nineteen. Nineteen. This is in fact an alchemy jug. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Well, this can be interesting. This can. Uh, Produce some different liquids, as far as I'm aware. Okay, interesting. Only a limited amount per day, and kind of limited on what it can produce. But uh, memory's vague on on the details. Do some testing. Your dad might know. He might, hmm. although got to come up with a story on where we got it. I mean, I couldn't have purchased it today. Keith found it. Cool, yeah. Keith found it in alley. Keith, who's <clears throat> sitting on the bed right now, is like, what? Like, hasn't been paying attention, <laughs> but all of a sudden is being named. You found this. It, 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 it's oh, fine. Nobody's going to ask you. That's you just what we're going to tell someone else. I didn't, I didn't find it. Well, now you said. It, it's okay. Speaking of, um, would you mind coming with me? Just a moment. I, I kind of want to warn you or warn my dad about you, in case he sees you in your natural form. I mean, you, you should be fine around the house. Just want to let him know you're cool. Did your dad not meet Keith, uh, Keith as Keith? I don't think so. I oh believe God. he was a bat. Yeah, he would. I mean, that's cool. I'm, I am I just want to introduce you to so you know who you're seeing and who he's seeing. Two so seconds. I'll ask if he has any. No, but he's not neat. No. no. You do and I will kill you. Okay. That was a lot. That's my dad. <laughs> okay. We're all friends here. Cool. Sure. And, <laughs> and I'm going to take him downstairs. <laughs> and uh, while I'm on the stairs, before he actually gets down, your dad is still in his chair reading his yeah, book. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to see me yet. Um, dad, dad, don't be frightened. But I have what, someone. Why who should would I be? What is that? That is Keith. Keith is a friend. When your dad Keith? jumps and says that, friend. Keith does hiss a little bit. 
Because of course he would. This is Keith. Yeah. Um. They they were here before. They just um. They take many forms. Kind of kind of like me. But uh, in case you're running into each other in the middle of the night or tomorrow morning or anything, we're all good. All right. Uh, yes, sure. Do you happen to have any raw meat? Possibly in the icebox. Cool. Can I have a piece? Well, can Keith have a piece? Yeah, you. He, he's barely looked at you since you both because <laughs> it's a fucking closet. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yes, sure. Cool. You go. Oh, yeah. by the way, here here's that. And uh, Keith like <laughs> climbs over the railing and like bolts towards the kitchen and starts scrambling to find the ice box. Hey, 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 hey! I run after him. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't, don't make a mess. <laughs> He's like, mate, <laughs> like just jumps and like he's he's tearing he's like, up the kitchen. Like, he's like a, a he, rabid squirrel dog. He's a raccoon. He's basically a trash panda. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you guys just hear random clattering and a lot of like going, hey, no, no, <laughs> put that down. <laughs> and I'll get him a piece of meat and I I give it to him, <laughs> and then I'll give my dad back the hundred gold that he gave me. Like he's sitting in the middle of the counter, just like, <laughs> and your dad is like. Uh, okay, Keith, uh, back upstairs, please. Back upstairs. Mm-hmm. Dude, go back to mama. Slowly, slowly raising the book, like. <laughs> oh my god. He's not comfortable with this. <laughs> I'm gonna, upon hearing the ruckus downstairs, I turn to the rest of the group and I'm like, sometimes I wonder if bringing Keith was a mistake. Just Sometimes. I think he's great. <laughs> Kendall, Renji. Keith? Oh. Mistake? Uh, your tea. Tea. Do you have any alcohol? Oh. Ling's not there, so he can't say. Um, um, but Renji, you should have alcohol that you stole from. Oh yeah, okay. shit! <laughs> haven't checked uh, what it is. But then Renji's just like, "Oh, wait, uh, two bottles of reddish brownish liquor." Uh, one of them is kind of like a darkish amberish liquor. The other one looks pretty clear, actually. I um found these. I think you also stole like a bottle of wine from the gambling table. Um, what what kind are those? Um, uncorks the clear one. <laughs> Might as well be ever clear. <laughs> oh, that's a good shit. I don't know, but maybe. You can. <laughs> I have to get out of here, guys. Okay. okay. We'll do your thing later. Oh. Don't let me forget. Um, L- love, um, love your face. I love you guys. Jinx loves uh, giving tea and being, you know, cuddly. Okay. Period. Love you guys. I'll see you um next time we play. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Okay. Bye. 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 Um, um Ken- Kendall will just go I'll just take a sniff and then I'll I'll stick with water. I rolled a nat 20 just to see like just to uh, see if she you, would resist it or not. You managed to resist the temptation. Good. Yeah. So she'll take the, a sniff and go strong shirt. And hand it back. <laughs> Then the um, uh, dark amber one. Uh, it's more of a spiced rum. 
can I smell that one too, please? More like Kraken over Captain Morgan. Oh, if it's Kraken, then... Oh, wait, no, it's Renji. It's not Mitch. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Renji was just going to go... <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he'll pass the bottle over. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> Mitch has to be Renji. <laughs> She'll smell it and be like, <sighs> You sure you don't want just. Yes, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. He'll pour. He silently curses. <laughs> Fuck. Um, just pours a bottle of the uh, spice rum. Bear in mind, this is exactly the first drop of alcohol Renji has ever fucking had. Oh. Okay, so oh, no. Renji, Renji, <laughs> Renji. Uh, no. Oh. What? <laughs> it's. Oh no. It's warm on the way down it's nice mm -hmm. you weren't quite expecting it That's... make a con <laughs> save this is not for drunkenness this is for it's your first time taking a shot and we all remember those days yeah <laughs> you get the yes. alcohol shutters yes <laughs> well, like where's my chaser Hen. Wait, okay. con con save? Uh huh. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. You have a little bit of that. Ah. <coughs> I was <coughs> going to say that you should probably sip it first. <coughs> um, Ling, you would know that you can either offer like fresh water, wine, or beer using the alchemy jug if you want. <laughs> oh, <laughs> might be a nice uh, chaser. <laughs> uh, do you prefer wine or beer? And I just kind of look at Renji and then everybody else. That's the first alcohol I've had ever. Water. Uh, water I got downstairs. No problem. Uh, and okay, beer it is. And I just kind of pour, <laughs> pour out... Uh, a cup of in <clears throat> beer in Renji's teacup and my teacup. So okay, so you cannot change liquid after you start pouring one until nope. the next one, but you don't have to pour out the entire four gallons of beer that is yeah. created every time you choose the beer option. Yeah, it's just beer yeah. until dawn. <laughs> Uh, but Kindle, you are welcome to get water or tea was brought upstairs as well. <laughs> so yes. you do have a drink option. Okay. There's still probably a half <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> She's like, I just want to have a drink. I just want to have fun without feeling a need to relapse. <laughs> okay, girl. You're strong. You're a girl boss. You didn't you say that out loud. Me. I'm just mm -hmm. like... <laughs> She's like, I am also giving no, subliminal encouragement. No, I behave. Yeah. <laughs> um, Renju is happily sipping at the beer, learning from his mistake. Yeah, yeah, and there's also that little bit of like beer. The first time you have it has that bitter, hoppy taste. That you're like, yep. So you're drinking <laughs> it, and you're like, every now and then. <laughs> You, you you get because you're fresh to this i love this this is finally someone who's fresh to it you get the alcohol face <laughs> the, i can handle it i can handle it mm, yep. i can handle it yep mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh 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 i'm sorry go ahead i just had an amazing idea i was just going to say renji darling um do yourself a favor. Uh, that first bottle that you showed me, work your way up to that. Don't don't just outright try that one. To to be honest, when I smelled it, I felt like my nose hairs were on fire, and I. Yeah, That's natural. So. Um. 
Stop it. <laughs> Sarah, no. <laughs> Sarah, yes. <Okay. laughs> so, Mimi, you're dead, right? Yeah. So I'm you dead. don't need to breathe, right? Uh, like, you can survive without breathing? For a long time, yeah. Like, eventually I'll pass out because I'm undead, so I'm in between alive and dead. So I can hold my breath for a really long time, but I still need a little bit of oxygen going to my computer. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> but those, those don't exist. So, it's a computer. <laughs> I don't know. Good question. So I was wondering if someone could stay in the hole while we moved it. But I don't yes. know if there's going to be, like, air or not. Let's but try it with the dead I figured girl. it you would be perfect and it could be a sleep in pitch black whenever you want and then i wouldn't have like, to sleep in a closet yeah i mean we'd, we'd have to do some testing to see if we can like fold it in just the way where right there's now. like a little bit of an opening right to Let's try it right uh, okay now. right now all right um hop, hop on in and uh we'll, so we'll see if what we can do and my girl jump Okay. Fold it up, baby. All right. Um, I'm going to try and fold it and leave like a square, maybe this big in the center that's still flat, unmoved. Just kind of fold all of the edges up. So as you start themselves. to fold it, it's like it's an interdimensional space. So as you start to fold it, it actually like closes. So if you're folding it more than like halfway, there's no hole anymore. It's just Mimi okay. inside it. Uh, and when that happens, Mimi, it is pitch black. There is okay. no light in here at all. However, you're a vampire and you have like super dark vision. Yeah. <laughs> so you're able to, you know, make out shapes and you're just sitting in a room no light, no air. You you can tell from feeling it. There's no airflow. Ah. Um, surrounded by coins. You're like so. So if a human person were to be in here at some point, they could pass out and die. At some point, they would likely run out of oxygen. <laughs> cool. As soon as I notice the uh, the hole like completely disappearing, and I'm not, I can't see Mimi anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna unfold it and, and spread it flat again. Open up the hole, or I, I'm gonna start pulling it away until the hole opens, like pulling one edge away and laying it flat until it opens to see what the limit is. Because you said about half, fold it more than about halfway. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like okay. if you slightly flip over a lip, it's only gonna close. Right. So it does have a limit on uh, how much it can be disturbed. Apparently, you just get uh, shut right out as soon as it goes about halfway folded on uh, total, not like any one side. So there's not a good way to like let you know in or out, like communicate, it doesn't look like. But uh, how was it inside when the hole closed? It's super dark and after a while you guys would die. But I'm okay, so I can put a mattress down here, and I can see, and I can sleep. Perfect. So now if we're ever, you know, like camping outside or have to do something during the day and you need to sleep, I we have an option. Know. Okay, but then you can't lose it or you can't let anyone steal it because then I will technically get kidnapped. Yeah, no, I will guard it with my life if that ever needed to occur or oh, does occur. Yeah. Yay! I'm so excited. Which which vampire did you you took the actual vampire, not vampire you, prince, right? Yeah. yeah, you like changed the. Yeah, I picked one that vampire. actually put like the things that we needed, but I kept yeah. the wrong one in my. I kept both of them in my thing because I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you do still need sleep, but I'll say um, you don't breathe as often. You still do require breathing, 
a yeah. humanoid would not last past like 10 minutes in this hole as we learned from critical role yeah um yeah you breathing at a much slower rate i'd say like six hours i'd say That's you could like before you that would probably be enough sleep for you yeah. i know it's normally <laughs> like eight hours but you're a fucking vampire yeah, I don't need to, I don't, I mean, I need sleep at some point, but not as much as normal people. In mm-hmm. Twilight, there's this stupid thing where, like, the vampires don't need to breathe at all. So vampires will just travel via the water and walk on the floor of the ocean and just use that for travel because they don't need to. I think that's so stupid. Technically, it's so stupid. Technically, that's kind of a thing with D&D vampires, too. They don't actually really need to breathe if you're talking about the monsters. But, but like running water, running water is a vulnerability to them. So crossing right. like through water that's moving like that would damage you every round. Oh, right. Yeah, that's that's why I think it's so stupid. Yeah. You don't need it, and it doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Anyway. Um, because I know it's getting late. <laughs> and we were yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, is there anything else you guys want to do this evening? Look out the window for a kitty. Make a perception check. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine. You don't see one. No kitty oh. tonight. Um you look so sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want a cat. I know. Grand Chief will just get in a meditative pose and trance for the four hours. Okay. Kiddo will put a blanket over his shoulders before going to bed. I, I know it's not a huge bed, but a- anybody else is welcome to join me, and I'm, I'm going to go that small cat form, smaller cat oh. form, and sleep on the foot of the bed again. Because <clears throat> okay. that was comfy. Anything else you guys would like to do this evening? Okay. No. As you find yourselves drifting off towards sleep, Renji, what you find yourself playing that moment over and over in your mind trying to think I killed him I I did that what did I did I miss what you remember not just seeing it, but feeling it with your hands. It's strange. It doesn't make any sense. And at the very edge of that dream, all you hear is it's a wonder that we live so and believe so strongly and a single point perspective is so subjective. And that's it. Back off, ya spooky bitch. My Back God. off, exactly. ya spooky bitch. <laughs> F that lady. Mm. F lady, them. Huh. That's Mimi doesn't thing. know. <laughs> no, Mimi has no idea. Uh, yeah, I. But also, Sila has no idea. And it's always been a feminine voice. Yeah, but just because it's a feminine voice doesn't mean it is a feminine presence. That feminine voice could identify as a non. Over table, presence. over table, because Renji actually does have a little bit of this information. It is a feminine presence. Okay. Okay. Chill. If Renji did not have that information yet, I would have kept it a little bit more androgynous. But Renji has that information due to some okay. well, 
well-timed uh, uh, temple travel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. If there's Time nothing travel. else that we'd like to take care of this evening, uh, then we will... Con- no. Go ahead. All right. Uh, no, I'm sorry. No. We will conclude it here for the night. Right. What? That was a hell of a session. I loved it so much. I can't much. believe we went to 1.30. <laughs> <laughs>